Welcome, guys. Unfortunately, the update still hasn't hit yet. But <laughs> Dev said it might be today. Yeah, they're working hard on it. They're doing the best they can with what they got. So we're just waiting on them to get her done. All right. Um, let's see. 900 bucks left. Okay, we need a little bit of everything on the shelves. Let's start stocking. So, some milk over here. Uh, why can't you make puns with kleptomaniacs? Because they take things literally. Your lad is cool. Thank you. Yeah, I'm usually good at coming out with, with, with cute little layouts for my my stores. Uh, let's see. Wait, why is the sugar there? Oh, why am I moving this stuff? I need to reorganize this the shop. It's all chaos right now. All right, let's see. Um, brown sugar. I'll put you back on the shelf. We have some more of this stuff to sell, and then we'll get rid of it. All right, um, what's this? Uh, beef. It's been sitting on the shelf, raw, unrefrigerated. Mmm. So good. All right, restock the milk. It's got like a nice green, um, oh, it's green eggs and ham. That's what it is. It's Dr. Seuss themed. That's why it's green. That's what we're going with. Yeah, it's just Dr. Seuss themed. It's green eggs and ham. And St. Patrick's Day, yeah. Okay, I think everything is restocked that we can from the back, so now we need to order more. I also need to move some stuff around. I don't think we need that many boxes of tea. Because they pack so densely, we can move stuff around. All right, we'll start with toilet paper. Let's do toilet paper. One, two, three, four, five. Toilet paper. No, nope, the update has not hit yet, unfortunately. But the devs said they're trying real hard to get it out today. Real hard. So let's hope he's working by himself. So let's just, you know, take a break, give him some space, let him finish it. You want him to make a good update, not a broken one. Because. You don't want him to break the game by trying to rush the update out, you know? All right, let's do cleaners. So, a little bit of all the cleaners, actually. So, one, two, three, four. All right, let's go restock all that. Oh, it's more uh, empty than I thought. Less than I thought. Uh, toilet paper will be a whole process. I'm going to not dump it in the garbage this time. Drinking some iced coffee over there? Yes. Um, if I don't have my coffee in the morning, don't speak to me. Wait until I'm about at least a quarter into my glass if you want to have a pleasant conversation. Otherwise, hide. Because if I haven't had my coffee yet, that means I'm not awake yet. And I'm not responsible for whatever I say. Especially if you ask a dumb question. Be like, I'll be like, um, there we go. The devil only spent four months in this game so far. Well, if he did all this in four months, that's very impressive. 
That means in four more months, he'll be able to do even more stuff. Good morning, Denimite and uh, Haley, two subs to the channel. Thank you so much, and good morning. Thank you for being subs. Uh, let's put this over here. Actually, did I restock the cake? I'm not sure. Looks like we can restock a little bit of cake. Just a, just a touch. All right, now the toilet paper is stocked. Now we got to go and do candy. Now we got candy. Um, that cake needs restocked. What am I like out of? We're out of the regular cereal. So for cereal. Hi, that. thank you. One of that, one of that. If you say any weird orders, yes. The customers will buy items at random and sometimes they'll buy a lot of something that you know people don't normally spend so much mon so much money on. Like they'll come in and buy Eight boxes of sugar, and you're like, what in the world would someone need eight boxes of sugar? In what world does one need that much sugar? Something suspicious is happening here. Um. Oh, we're at chicken. One, two, three, four boxes of chicken and fries and pizza. Okay, we're getting very low on money. We're going to have to open, even if we don't have everything stocked yet. Keep missing your expansion. Uh, yeah, it, it, it can happen fast. Like, you'll be watching for hours, nothing happens, and all of a sudden, boom, I make massive changes over the course of ten minutes. All right, put all that on the shelf there. And cookie crisp. Is anyone like me where, when you were a kid, you had a massive sweet tooth for candy and, and cereal and stuff? But as you've gotten older, like... Like you just not it's not as appetizing anymore. If it's super sweet, well, really. hello there, you yeah. saucy minx. Like saucy. <laughs> uh, thank you, Joe, for that sub. I don't know if it's if something's super sweet. It's kind of a. Uh, I just don't like it anymore. I'm just kind of like, yeah. Things could be too sweet. Whereas when I was a kid, if something was very sweet. It was like yes. This is perfect. That's just being old. Yeah, maybe just being older, you like sweet stuff a little bit less. But then again, I see these people in Starbucks and stuff ordering these just insanely sweet drinks with tons of sweet stuff poured on top. And it's like, oh, God. It's not even like a health thing. I just don't even, I just don't like that much sweetness. It just takes too sweet and makes me go, ugh. Good morning, Talia. All right, put all that in there. We need some more freezer stuff. All right, we're getting low on money. Let's restock the cheese. Hi, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Cheese is not super expensive. Um, and let's do flour. So flour. I right, get that flour. That's all we can do for the day. We got open. All right. Let's see. If you don't like sweet things, don't you must not like yourself because you're super sweet. Hey, hey now. You watch it, you. Uh, Parmigiano Reggiano over here. Let's throw that in there. Um, all right, so more cheese. Let's get that stocked over here. 
cheese. I always felt sorry for the cheese in um, the hey, the the um, old McDonald's song because the cheese always stood alone. Like, why was so people so mean to the cheese? To be fair, like if someone's cutting the cheese, I understand, but just leaving the cheese alone and not have friends, it's kind of mean. Parmigiano Reggiano. And boop. I'm gonna put the other cheese. Oh, right there. We'll put the cheeses over here. So you're gonna have to wait a minute. We've got some fleur. Restocker update should be out today. The devs said they're really trying to get it out today. It's just taking them longer than they thought. Why? Thank you. They are a solo dev. They're working as hard as they can. But sometimes, you, you know, you just can't estimate properly how much time something will take when you're making a game. So they're doing what they can, though. So don't don't start a riot or anything. Don't don't harass them. Yes, the store gets bigger, much bigger. Um, we got a decent sized store, but we're still like. We're not like supermarket level. We're just sort of like a, like a big gas station size. Like I've seen gas stations about as big as this. Yeah, I like our layout. All right, hello, welcome. That's a lot of meat, sir, and cheese. Uh, exact change. Thank you. Oh wow, someone's buying some cereal today. Seventy dollars. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, change. Uh, $88. Oh, you gave me 200 Okay, so that, that's better. $88. Thank you, ma'am. And on card 3225, you have a great day now. Uh, currently, the only employees you can hire are the, the cashiers that automatically just check people out pretty slowly but they do it they do it entirely automated so you don't have to babysit them at all okay i need some coffee you're out of coffee so one two three four and then one more to help restock that other shelf and then we're gonna need um what was there that was all pasta but that's been moved over here so we can move things around. I need oil. Get some oil. One, two. Three. One, two, three. Okay, got the oil. Uh, we need big sushi. And small sushi. We need uh, tuna, some tuna. Okay, that's all I could afford right now. All right, let's go ahead and restock. Uh, you can give the wrong change, but if you do, um, the customer doesn't like that and you lose rating. So it's not that big of a deal, but, and you can only give them wrong change up to a certain percent, like you can't you can't just not give the money back. You can give them like ninety percent of their money back, and then keep a little bit, and then they get mad about it. But they'll you can keep that little bit, and you lose experience points. What is Tana with the oil next to the mouth? What? <laughs> Actual brand too. It looks really close, unless it's a foreign brand. I haven't seen that one in the United States yet. All right. Uh, May chat honor you with a feast. Throw that out there. Uh, Lucky Gun, thank you for that sub. This stream looks so much better on YouTube compared to Twitch. Yes, Twitch. YouTube allows you to do a different encoder. So that way it looks dramatically better on uh, YouTube versus Twitch. And also I can stream at four times the bit rate and double the resolution than Twitch. So that's why this YouTube stream looks so much better. So if you're looking at... Uh, if you're looking for better quality, the YouTube stream is so is the best. 
the Twitch chat's the best chat, though. That's why everyone likes the Twitch stream, though. Because Twitch chat is the most fun to chat in and has the best emote system and stuff. But if they ever fix that on YouTube, um, they're going to be in trouble. Uh, there you go. Oh, turn the light on. Do this game on Mac. Hopefully they get a Mac port out for people to play a Mac. That'd be great. The more people that can play this game, the better. Um, I don't know. I've been watching too many streams of this game because now my feed is all this game. <laughs> it's just like scrolling through. It's, oh, everyone's streaming this game. I'm like, uh-oh. You must want to watch Supermarket Simulator. Like, damn it. You know me too well. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. I'll put this in the back. Uh, I'll put the all back here. Did I already put oil in here? Yes, I did. There you go. Sir, you can't stand inside my, my wall like that. Come on. It's getting ridiculous. Thank you. Uh, 86. 25. Thank you. Hello, ma'am. Oh, on card, 9925. You have a great day now. Thank you. Um, 2250. Thank you, ma'am. He never threw the boxes away outside. Oh my god, that's going to cost so much lag eventually when all those boxes are rendering outside. <laughs> I can imagine that many like items just freely just floating out there being rendered constantly. Um, okay, keep stocking. Okay, no more tuna. Uh, we'll put, put the red, oh. oh. We'll put it right there. If it's here and there, then I can put the little tuna over there. Yeah, let's put the rest of the little tuna on the shelf. And some coffee. I just follow. Well, thank you so much for following. It's one of the best ways to support on a TikTok live stream is following can boost the people person to the uh, for you page if they have enough people following. All right. Uh, let's see. Put that there. And let's put that over here. How can play this game? It's on Steam. It's currently about 13 US dollars. And it's called Supermarket Simulator. Uh, should be the first link when you just Google Supermarket. Couldn't find olive oil. It's on the shelf now, though. 35.75. Thank you. Hello, sir. That'd be $57. Thank you. Couldn't find bottled water. We are out of bottled water. I have to order it tomorrow. All right. Hi, sir. Welcome. A lot of eggs and tea. Those boxes of tea would last me forever. All right. Last order for the day. Can you sell liquor yet? Not yet. All right. Let's go next day. The license for liquor is Not very, all heroes wear capes. very expensive. Uh, Turdico, thank you for the 44-month resub. Appreciate that. All right, next day. Uh, large sushi dropped in price. Let's see. Yep, 23 25 Not all heroes wear capes. Um, $21 even for that. Tuna also dropped. Oh, raised in price, 7.25. I should make more money on that one. All right, um, we got a little bit more money now, so let's try to restock the shelf as best we can. Um, so we need... Oh, we're out of sugar, so we? I need all the sugar, so let's order all the sugar. One, two. One, two. All the sugar's out. Um... 
We'll move the rice over, I think. And also reposition the tea. Probably. All right, one of each tea, and then rice. With another box of rice. And cake. Cake right there. Oh, thank you, Cosman. Yeah, this Super Mario Simulator is great. Been having a, a lot of fun with it. So we're going to put rice over there next to that. We're going to condense this, move the salt somewhere else. And then put flour, flour, rice. <laughs> we'll put all the sugar over here, I guess. I already have a spot for these cakes. Now yeah, we'll move that over here like that. And then, nope. Leave this box here for moving later. Uh, Susu. I'll put you over here. Nope, can't use that box. The brand name is Snoo Snoo, yes. <laughs> you want to go to the store and buy some Snoo Snoo? Okay, move the rice over here. Okay, that box is not good enough for that. How about this? No. One of these boxes will work. Uh, yeah, we're just selling some Snoo Snoo. Am I selling fake cookies? We've never sold fake cookies. They're just special cookies. Just very special. Water? Yeah, we got to get water. We'll have to order water. You don't make money back for liquor license. You do eventually. It just takes a long ass time. It takes a long time to to get the money back you spend on the license for any product in the game. But you will make it back eventually. Put this in the back over here. Um, here we go. We sell off 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 brand cookies. You know, cookies that are just very, very off-brand. We don't sell Oreos. We sell Oreo, which is legally distinct. Mm -hmm. Two rows is fine for tea. Tea does not sell quickly. Sells pretty slowly, so let's put it on the shelf. And then we got some black tea as well. Hello, Haley, and Big Headed Gamer in the TikTok chat. Thank you for being sub. You know, sub emotes. All right, I'll put this with the other one over here. I could put something else on that shelf, but what? I think we're fine there for now. All right, we need both waters, so let's get water. We're completely out of water. Um, yeah, I don't... I've seen some streams of people playing where their boxes are everywhere, and there's piles of boxes in the street, and I'm just like... Can't do that. Can't handle the disorganization. <laughs> Put it on a shelf! Clean it up! <laughs> You're making me twitch. Uh, difference in water, it's just brands. Um, for you, the, the owner, the they're just two different bottles of water that people might want. It's functionally the same. You just sell them on the shelf. Nothing special about them. Um, cheese. Let's restock the cheese. All right. I wish we could get a trash can inside the store. I'm so tired of running outside to throw stuff away. It's like, we need another trash can inside, please. Do you have curries? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We don't, we don't have spices. The most important ingredient in curry is spice, and we don't have any spices at all. Don't even sell 
All we sell is salt. That's it. And that's not really a spice. It's more of a flavoring agent. All right. Uh, we need... What is that? That's a lot of macaroni there. All right. Um, honey, bread, peanut butter. Honey, bread, peanut butter. Honey, bread, and peanut butter. And then we need all the eggs. So every type of egg, probably two boxes of each. They're going to need... Hmm. More sushi, both sushis. Some sush. You know, they're very expensive. Um, chicken already. Need more chicken. Chicken is really hard to keep in stock because they're so big and they take up so much space. Chicken, some salmon, be so all the meat. So, salmon, steak, veal chop, and some milk. Let's get the milk on the shelf. Too much. Hope the star. I have no money. Uh, no money at all. All right, throw that away. Uh, eggs. Let's go ahead and place the eggs on the shelf. We want these types of eggs. You still playing this? Yes, this game is surprisingly very fun. And it's selling extremely well on Steam. They sold 600,000 copies already. People like store games. Games where you run a store are just really fun. It's easy to just like watch it too so you know what's happening. There's not a lot of complex mechanics to know. Just a fun little experience. People like these kind of games. They like playing them like watching them. Right, fill that in over there. Okay, empty. And... More eggs over here. The customers are going through storage under my shop, are they? <laughs> They're not allowed to. But I guess they're doing it anyways. Customer waiting for me. You're going to have to wait, ma'am. Let's get this bread on the shelf. And throw that over there. Something just therapeutic, too, about this game. Just watching it, just... Watching the stuff fill the shelf is very fulfilling and satisfying. Um, throw that on the shelf. Get another type of bread. We've only had this plain, plain white bread forever. Let me have some sourdough or some rye. You know, let's shake it up. Sounds of raised ASMR, yes, the like boop 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 of it going on the shelf. It's very satisfying. It's like nice. Nice. To spend your hyperfixation, yes, it's it's one of those games you just like get hooked on. Fourteen forty P game. Why thank yeah, you. Watch it on that YouTube. Um I hope we get stickers on the sides of boxes. That'd be great. All right, I need the money, so I'm gonna ring you guys out. Um, that'll be seventeen dollars and change. All right, let's see, that's a lot of soda and toilet paper. Have a great day. Toilet paper and chocolate. Someone's gonna make some fake poop, I think. Okay, have fun, baby, Trexy. All right, some cash, four dollars and fifty cents. Thank you, Chloe and Sarah, for those follows. Appreciate that. 
Thanks for being lying to my brain so I enjoy it while I'm a little while I'm at work. Ah, oh, perfect. Little um, midday break stream watching. Always the best. All right, so we got more water. Let's fill out that last. Oh, never mind. I did. Um, I shall put this here then. Let's get that one order in. Oh my god. Down the middle of the street. Okay, chicken. And then run back. More chicken. And run back. And more chicken. Run back. More chicken. Why are they buying my chicken so much? I don't know. They're just buying the hell out of it. Uh, cars can hit you and knock you down the street. I learned that the hard way yesterday. It just dragged me across the damn city with, after I was picking up a box outside. Wait. Here. There you go. Uh, more water. Put that over Not there. Not all heroes wear capes. All right, let's see. Put this over here. I know as soon as I restock it, they buy it all, and I gotta buy more and restock it again. <laughs> it's like, ah! Let me have a moment, people. Let me restock this shelf for a second. Uh, some more bread. I put. Uh, turn the light on. And throw that in the back. Oh my god, there's a line here. Alright. Hello, welcome. Uh, 1475. You have a great day. Sir, thank you for buying all the stuff I restocked already. On card for $57. Thank you. Alright, thank you, sir. That'll be 7525. Exact change. Beautiful. You have a great day. Watching people play this game is part of my morning and night routine. As I know, it's just fun to just watch this game. It's just comfy. No matter what streamer you turn to, you can just continue watching. You can tell where they are, what they're doing. It's also fun to... Comp okay. I didn't realize there were witches in this game. I <laughs> know uh, they're walking through there uh, in the air. All right, put the meat on the shelf. I know they're just witches floating through the air. Yeah, I mean we could fix it. It's just, it's just funny. <laughs> That's how they do it. I know they're lined up the register because they want me to check them out, but I need to put the stuff on the shelf. I'm always needed everywhere. Okay, restocking. Perfect. And some more veal. Okay, we need even more meat. All right, hi everybody. One piece of cheese. Okay, that'll be four dollars. Out of five, here's your dollar. Thank you, sir. On credit, thirty-seven fifty-five. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. Uh, forty-six dollars even. Thank you. Uh, Gira, thank you so much for following the, the TikTok stream. I appreciate that. And $12.70. Thank you very much. All right, what we got over here? Uh, a lot of groceries. And eighty-one seventy-five. Thank you very much. All right, sir. 
Thank you very much. That'll be 75 cents. You know, it's not bright enough over here. I need to get a couple more lights. Let me buy three more lights to put around here to brighten this up. A little not dark. All in heroes here. wear capes. Oh, ma'am. You gotta get your last minute pork chops when we're closing. Thank you. A little dark in that corner as well. No light over here at all. Apparently, if you put too many lights, it can cause lag, so be careful about the lights. Did you invest a lot in your PC to be able to stream? Yes, I've been um, doing live streaming for 15 years now, so I've, it's been a long process. I've been I started on Twitch in 2009. Well, it was Justin TV then. Then I've been streaming on Twitch and um, full time since 2012, and then we just recently started streaming on TikTok and YouTube um, at the same time as Twitch because they just lifted the rule, so that I can do that now. I have um, one PC I play games on, and then I have a second PC that does all the streaming. I'm streaming to Twitch, uh, TikTok, and YouTube all at the same time in different qualities and different resolutions with different overlays. So it's uh, it's like, ah! And I have over here three different chats for each of the programs, so I'm watching you all. Sometimes I miss the qu a comment or two, but overall, it's been going pretty good. So it's a lot of uh, juggling. No Facebook stream. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't interact with Facebook anymore. Ever. I just. Once my grandma added me as a friend on that, I just. I was like, okay, it's not for young people anymore, and I stopped using it. It's like, oh, yep. Once Grandma out of me, I was like, okay, this isn't cool anymore, so we're going to stop using it now. Um, for a while, there was just college kids. Like we, It was a program just for us to post pictures of ourselves after we drank at a party. And they'd be like, woo, and like add friends, and then post stuff, pictures, and people comment it. But then parents and started showing up and then they wanted to be your friend but that's where you posted all your drunk photos and you're like oh so you didn't want to do that anymore it just kind of not got not cool over time it used to be really cool really fun before the adults showed up like the older adults for facebook and facebook now is also extremely different from what it was in 2004 it you can't even recognize it anymore it's just a very different animal. Uh, let's see. MySpace was a competitor for Facebook when it came out. People were using MySpace a lot when Facebook showed up. And then once Facebook showed up, MySpace just went dead. <laughs> no one use it anymore. Also, there was uh, a few others like there's a journal website and, you know, so much stuff. And then basically um, Facebook took over all those little programs from being a better version of it. Yeah, Friendster. It was an interesting time. All right. Uh, now let's continue to stop. The cheese shelf is, like, completely bare. Um, let's restock as much as we can um uh, I remember when I was um, in college at the time um the I remember the song that was huge in all the dance clubs and stuff was since you've been gone na, 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 na. yeah that Kelly Clarkson song that was like every. That was like the big song. Also, "Rolling in the Deep" just came out as well, <laughs> and that song was everywhere. I've probably heard "Rolling in the Deep" more than any other song in my life. They played that so many times in every club and every drag show and every. Um, 
party, like ev- like that song was everywhere, everywhere. Um, okay, go grab more stuff. Let's put this here. Put this over here. Miss Facebook games. Facebook still has games. It just there's just me- much better places to play them now. So you don't need to play through your browser through uh, your browser and Facebook anymore. Your Farmville. The update did not come out yet, but the devs said they're trying really, really hard to get it out today. They're trying real hard because they know people want it badly. And people are being very rude on his Discord up to him. Why, thank you. Because, I don't know if you noticed, you guys are cool, but some people are um, impatient and rude to people that are making stuff for them. Like, they are just completely rude and impatient. Like this man's making a game by himself. And people are just leaving the nastiest comments that they have to moderate over there. It's like, what? The new update will let you um, hire a restocker who will go in the back, grab items from the back, and put them on the shelves for you. And that sounds like a complicated task that to program. So he's currently been working on that for about... Um, about five to six days now. Here comes the solo dev excuse. Why would that be an excuse? He's doing it all by himself. Like the man is working alone. He doesn't have anyone that he has to write code. He has to come up with the artwork. He has to design it. He has to come find the sound effects, he has to rig everything together, he has to animate all the characters, like everything by himself. Like it's a lot of work. And then also he has to bug test it to make sure that he doesn't release a like broken update that breaks everything else in the game that's already in the game. (laughs) It's a lot of work for one person to do. That's like six, seven jobs right there like at a normal game company. From art to coding to design to animation to bug testing, the like it's insane. I can't imagine having to do that myself. I would go insane. Um. Yeah, he when, when he made this game, he was expecting maybe to sell four thousand copies at, at 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 best. Like at best. 4,000 copies, but he sold instead 600,000 copies. 600,000. Just crazy. Yeah, like, uh, concerned uh, Ape made all of Sardi Valley by himself. Um, he has a small team now to help him a little bit, but he still does most everything himself, and he... I can't even, I can't even imagine making a game that big all by myself like and composing the music making the music just absolutely nuts and have it be amazing as it was um okay more toilet paper overnight millionaire well yeah but there's still you're, you have to wait for the money because people can refund it. You have to um, pay taxes on it. You have to give Steam their fee. And you got to pay for rent and food. It's so like all out of that money. So it's not quite. But yeah, it's, he's, he's definitely in a much better position. And also you have to wait a while to get your money. Like most digital platforms, you make a lot of money, but you got to wait. 30, sometimes 60 days to actually get the money. So he's got to, like, live however he has been living. And then once he finally gets that money, then he can start doing stuff with it. 
Concerned Ape, yeah, Concerned Ape is also, if you guys didn't hear about it, he's releasing an update to Stardew Valley um, in four days. One point, update 1 1.6, which is going to have a lot of new content in it for the old game. So it's not going to be um, like a whole new island. It's going to be updating the old part of the game to have a lot more content and festivals and clothing and all kinds of stuff, all free. So it's going to be another huge, good time to replay Stardew Valley. We'll see. Um, Cookie Crisp, restock the shelf. No, oh, that's not Cookie Crisp. It's like chocolate and granola and stuff. Interesting. I know. Uh, knowing how concerned Ape is, he was done with um, he was done making uh, Stardew Valley in with update one point four. And we know how that turned out because then he did 1.5 and had a whole new zone, a whole new in-game and stuff. Then he's then he was done with then. He was like, "Okay, I'm, now I'm done. I am definitely done after 1.5." And now 1.6 is coming out, and he's like, "Well, now I'm definitely super done. I'm definitely done now." I'm like, "Sure, sure. When's 1.7 again?" <laughs> hmm. Sure, you're done. I believe you. Uh, double meat. Um, sushi large. Salmon. God, those are expensive. Um, some more moussaka. We also need some more of the scalloped gratin. How are we doing on regular tuna? Regular tuna are okay. Fill that in. Um, let's see how much we have left here. Yeah, he is making. He's still and he's still working on Haunted Chocolatier as well. So what he's doing is he's updating Stardew Valley to like get himself prepared for um, to like give himself creative breaks um, from Haunted Chocolatier to do work on Stardew Valley. One of customers said you couldn't reach the French fries. Oh, that we were out of them. Yeah, we're out of fries. We're going to get some more. Thank you for that. All right. Um, French fries. Some more chicken. Always more chicken. All right. A lot. We need all the potatoes. More potatoes. Uh, candy. Chocolate. Um, cake. Thank you for that gift, Sarah Wright and Silks with the rose and the hearts. Appreciate that. Are these potatoes? Yes, these are potatoes. They're big ass bags of potatoes. Okay, I need, all, I need both candies. Uh, sorry. Cereal, well, same thing in America. <laughs> not much difference between cereal and candy. Um, let's see. Okay, we stock in that and that. Okay, we need fleur, and we need both fleurs. Some fleur. Okay, got some fleur. And. Got the potatoes coming. We need some more coffee. Some more dishwashing liquid. Dishwashing liquid. That's all I can afford now. All right, let's restock. Okay, moussaka. Restocking. Okay, put that on the shelf. Nope, not the shelf. Right there, that shelf. Okay, some more flur. I have so much stuff, I'm trying to restock it, but they're just they're gonna come shopping so fast, I'm gonna empty my shelves before I can do anything with it. All right, there we 
go. Take out loan. Um, we have our loans all paid off right now. Loans are very expensive. They're good for if you want like an immediate growth, but they are very pricey. You have to pay a lot of money uh, back on them. They're not quite free money, unfortunately. All right, let's throw these away over here. All right, uh, cookie crisp. All right, let's do a quick vibe check, guys. How's everyone doing today? Are we like having a good time? Like, on a scale of one to one to five, one being a bad day, five a great day. How are we doing today? One to five. Are we having a five day or a or a one? We're somewhere in between. On a scale of one to five, how's your day going today? Ooh, it's a couple fours, a three. Well, anything above three is good. So if you're having a three or higher, that's that's a pretty good day. Even a three is a better than a one or a two. Take that. Wow, looks like a lot of people are having a pretty decent day today. That's good. A lot of uh, average or above today. Happy to be here. Well, I'm happy you're here. Welcome. All right, let's go ahead and put the coffee on the back on the shelf um, over here. We're going to grab. Oh no, moose, moose, moussaka. We'll go over here. Full on that. Some cleaning supplies. Fill all that in there. Some chocolate. All right, just like that. I cannot wait for that. Now, chat, if you guys see the restocker update going out, let me know. The second it happens, I want to download and update it. Because I want that restocker. I need it. All right. Got the meat. Let's put that in the back over here. Unrefrigerated, of course. That's flavor. All right. Fill that in there. Um, more flour. Whoa, a galaxy from Matt R. Thank you for dropping a galaxy in the TikTok chat. Thank you so much for that. I may go ahead and buy this game and support them, but wait to play until it's finished. That's a good plan. That way, like, they get the money they need to develop the game, but you don't have to play an unfinished product. Because early access is always a double-edged sword. One, you get to play a game early and be like, yes, this is so much fun. But then the the bad part is when you get to the end of the current content and you want more, but you're going to have to wait sometimes years, years for the game to be finished. And that's always rough. I Like with Subnautica, was in early access for a long time, and I played the hell out of that, and then... I kept running out of content. I was like, ah, oh, no. So I eventually was just like, I'm just going to wait until they update it all the way, and then I'll go back. Bought the game, had it, and just like was like, okay, I'm going to wait now. Good plan. All right, uh, let's put our fries in here. Oh, Sarah Wright, thank you for 176 tickets. Didn't see those. Sorry. Thank you very much. And Matt R., thank you for subscribing to us on the TikTok stream. That's super, super kind of you. Thank you for the sub. Um, I shall put you there for now. I'll grab you in a minute. Okay, more potatoes. Yep. Oh, light. I forgot to order some lights. Turn the light there. Not all heroes wear capes. All right, and then some more of this salmon stuff. Fill that in. Anno Mandir, thank you for the uh, sub. Oh, by the way, guys, um, I will be taking a vacation this year for the first time in, like, a very long time. Just, like, an actual vacation where I go somewhere. And I'm going to Las Vegas! Ah! Should be fun. Now I'm going to go to Las Vegas. 
I'm going to go in uh, probably uh, around Christmas time to see the Christmas decorations. Apparently, they do really good Christmas decorations there. To distract you from all the money you're losing. <laughs> yeah, just going to do a little gamba. <laughs> I like Christmas decorations, so I'm going to probably go around there just to see them. What happens in Vegas State? Yeah, I'm just going to go there and we're going to gamba all the money away. And then when I come back, we're going to have to do some sort of, like, big fundraiser to pay for my gambling bill. <laughs> no. I'm going to purposely ration myself so that way I don't accidentally spend too much. If you hit it big, will you still stream? Uh, will I play video games that I enjoy and hang out with people I like? Uh, well, if you twist my arm, I guess I will. I guess I could I could swing that. Yeah, I let I I just have fun streaming. I did, I did streaming before you could even make money on Why, it. Why? Thank you. Making money was something I never thought you could do on on uh, with streaming, but here we are, all these years later. Oh my God! Thank you, Mel Baby, for that rose. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Let's put this over here. A little more light. I think that needs to move more toward the center. Let's put light out a little bit more. And then... You know why they call them lights? Because they're not heavy. Oh, I didn't write out a single person all day. Oh my god, you've been waiting there for eight hours. I'm sorry. Uh, 25 cents. Have a great day. Oh my god, they've been standing there for eight hours. I forgot that. Oops, thank you. I'm finally here. I got you. <laughs> Happily open the app and you're online. Awesome. Well, welcome, Mel Baby. Uh, thank you, Natlin. Uh, you got House Flipper 2 and you haven't played it yet. It's really fun. They they added a bunch of new stuff on the House Flipper 2. If you liked the first one but wish there was more features to do, um, the second one has so many more. And it looks really nice, too. They did a great job with it. The only way you can turn off your lane is if you um, pack it up. But I like, I like having them just stand there and then I feel like I have power. <laughs> Yes, you will wait. <laughs> no, I'll be with you in, in one moment. <laughs> and eight hours later. Ten, thank you so much for that follow on TikTok. Thank you for following, guys. Wait, vacation are a thing? Sometimes. When you both have the time and the resources that you can. Uh, I don't get the appeal of this game. Why do some people streamers play it? Because people like watching it and people like playing it. Um, people are watching this game in big amounts because they like watching it. I don't know. I think it's fun to watch a streamer have to actually do a, a, um, a retail job. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Like people like seeing shit. Like, ha <laughs> look at the streamer having to work. <laughs> I know. It's like, but if you play this yourself, this is one of those games that, on paper, it sounds like it's gonna be boring. You're like, wait a minute, let me work a real job and not get paid for it. Like. And then pave to do that? All right. And then you start playing this game. And then... Why, thank you. Before you know it, hours have passed. Hours and hours. And then you've just been spending all day restocking and ringing people out. Uh, without realizing it, because it's just such a fun gameplay loop. You lose track of time so easily. Oh, Ashley, Elizabeth, thank you for eight-month resub on the Twitch. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, let me grab. Uh, let me look up the other one. Um, 
Thank you, Rogue77, Ghostlivu, uh, TZB, Anominir, Nufi, Alti. Thank you for those subs, guys. Uh, Jessica, thank you for that follow on the TikTok stream. Uh, let's replace the salmon. Uh, some water. Oh, that's the wrong type of water down there. Oops. People want this brand of water. All right, next day. Our current profit is only $700. Damn. Oh, because I bought so much stuff. Veal and cereal. So let's check the veal. The veal dropped down to thirteen dollars. Damn. I need to check our price. Oh yeah. Um eight dollars and twenty five cents. We gotta do a round of price checking here. Seven seventeen twenty three twenty five twenty one three dollars and fifty cents. Um, three dollars twenty-five cents. Let's see, two seventy-five. Three dollars. Uh, oh God, four twenty, four fifty. It's a big in, in price increase there. The cheese shelf is empty. People are buying. So much cheese. I could fit another um, rack right there. Let me go ahead and buy a fridge, a little one. And squeeze that in there. Could fit that right here. Ooh, it's a little tight. <laughs> It'll work though, but it's a little tight. I know we. I'm gonna have to have like a whole cheese container or something. I mean, we do already. I just need to like have more cheese. Ugh. Perfect game for TikTok, yes, and Twitch and YouTube. It does great in all channels. Like we have three thousand people watching us on Twitch, two hundred on YouTube, and a little over hundred on TikTok right now. It's like whoa. Uh, Just Juice, thank you for that uh, resub. Appreciate that. All right, we need uh, toilet paper. So let's do toilet paper. Two, three, four, five. Um, TikTok popping up. TikTok is a platform where one second you have five viewers, next second you have a thousand, next second you have a hundred. It's just all over the place. You know, it's a very much more volatile than uh, the other ones. Candy. Uh, let's do some cake. Uh, we need all the cheese. Okay. All the cheese. Then. Uh, we need uh, soda. More soda. One. Nope. And then one, two. And some juice. Let's get all that. Wait. No, nope, we got juice. Let's see how much, though. Oh, not enough to fill, but a little bit. A lot more than I thought it did. And then got some apple juice over here. I think we all can agree, though, that um, orange juice is a superior juice to all the others. It's just really good juice. With light pulp, not too much. Just just a little bit of pulp, just to let you, like, you know, have the, the texture, but not too much that it, like, chokes you if you drink too quick. Pineapple, pineapple juice is pretty good, too. Oh. I do like some pineapple juice. Especially if you take the pineapple juice and put a little strawberry in it. Or a little coconut. 
And then you put some rum in there. <laughs> and now we're talking. Hell yeah. You got a little pina colada. Cranberry juice is superior. All right. You know, I like cranberry sauce. I like cranberry juice. But cranberries need a lot of help. They need a lot of sugar help for you to be able to even tolerate drinking it. Because it is so tart without sugar. Some people, like, I haven't... I, it's very rare to find someone that can just drink the unsweetened cranberry juice. Some people can, and those I respect the hell out of those people. I'm just like, whoa, because that is some tart juice. That's a tart berry. Good mornings, SOS Diablo. Have you gotten to play City Skyline 2 or Project Hospital? Not yet, Menar. I, I want, I'm waiting for them to fix City Skyline 2's uh, performance, because apparently it does... I put that on the wrong shelf. Oh, no. Apparently, it doesn't run great. It currently runs... Like, it's hard to hit 60 FPS in that game by design. So, I'm waiting for them to, like, fix the performance or let mods do it or something. Uh, the, the, the auto restocker, not yet, but the devs said that they are working really hard, really hard to get the update out today. They're working hard, but no promises, but they're going to try to get it out today because they know that, that it's been a few days since they said it would be out. So they're working hard. They're trying. He's a solo dev, so give him a, give him a chance to breathe. Give him a chance to work. He has to do everything himself. Uh, the patch notes for that they aren't out yet. He's still working on it. He said that he's going to try really hard to get it out today. Uh, he's working. He, he, I would assume he's working really hard because his future depends on this game doing well and staying doing well. So he wants to get these updates out because he wants the game to be great. So that way people keep buying it and will keep buying his games in the future. Cranberry tea from Sonic is where it at. Uh, I do like me some tea. I do like me some tea. My favorite kind of tea, though, is uh, is milk tea. Anyone, anyone ch at fans of milk tea? Uh, milk tea with, like, brown sugar boba bubbles in it and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's like, that's heavenly. Uh, I saw that they have something called a cheese cap tea. Does anyone try cheese cap? Like, what does the cheese cap taste like? Does it, like, add it something to it? Does it make it taste better? I've never, like, never tried the, like, it's basically took the, they have, like, a, the top is, like, this cheese foam or something. I don't know what exactly what it is. We're going to dog with them. We have two Dalmatians named Boba and Milk Tea. <laughs> you can tell what their owner is like. Boba and milk tea. Smooth tasting. It's kind of like cheesecake with a little salt. Ooh. Yeah, they, there's all kinds of milk tea. They, it's just, uh, they have like black milk tea, um, green milk tea. Sometimes you get other ones like Earl Grey milk tea, but depending on what, what store you're at, what flavors they have. But it's really good. If if you need a ch uh, an incentive to try it, um, boba are basically like the little things inside tapioca pudding, but much bigger. They're just like sweet little chewy balls that like sit in the bottom, and you drink them through this big fancy straw. That I think we've all seen that video of the guy that um, didn't know what boba was, and he took a big sip and started gagging and like spewed milk tea everywhere all over his car. He had no idea what was, <laughs> what was going on. Uh, this game is on Steam. It's just Google Supermarket Simulator. It's about thirteen bucks. It's really good. Okay. Oh, sorry, I got distracted by milk tea. 
Uh, let's... <clears throat> so, I... My job, my mission right now is that we're going to restock everything. Today's going to be a full shelf day. Are you guys ready for this? Our shelves will be fully stocked today. Every shelf full. No gaps. No empty space. We're going to fill in every slot of this damn store. So it will be filled to the brim for about two minutes until I open the go the turn on the open button. But for those two minutes, it's going to be filled to the brim. And it shall be a good day. Uh, 350 swine. You need potatoes? Yeah, we're going to go shelf by shelf and we're going to fill everything up. So let's see. I need you guys to keep some notes for me. So we need beef. We need tuna. Beef and tuna. I think they call it steak, actually. Steak. Um, tuna. We're going to need... Uh, water. Uh, water. Let me go ahead and fill this in. No empty spots on the shelves. It's all getting filled in. Okay, throw this away. All right, I need water. If you know something I forgot to order, just let me know and we'll get it ordered. Okay, throw this away. How to get this game after watching it so much, so chill. I promise, if you get this game and you start playing it, time will fly by without realizing it. It's one of those games. You'll start playing it, and then hours will just slip by, as and you won't know how it happened. It just goes. Woo. I worked at a place of, uh, where it had empty space for more than an hour. Person responsible gets like minus ten percent of monthly salary. Jeez, that's intense. That's like really punishing. Okay, tuna. Uh, some. Do we have water back here somewhere? Water, 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 water. Yep, there's water. Put the water on the shelf. Okay, that's full. That one's full too. Oh, what's that? Okay, see if this is can be restocked. A little bit. I only know you part of retail is having to talk to people. Well, people are fine. It's just when you get that one rude person that ruins your day. You can always tell when it's who it's going to be. It's going to be like, all right, listen, Dan. I am very important. I had to wait like the other people in line, Dan. So I want you to get your manager, and I'm going to speak to them about how unhappy I am. Like, ma'am, should we talk to your husband and talk about how unhappy he is being with you? How dare you? Yeah, get out of here. All right, uh, put that there. Um, restock the spaghetti. <laughs> Another galaxy from Matt. Why, thank you. Thank you so much for that galaxy. Thank you very much. Uh, Feria93, thank you for that 14-month uh, resub. Appreciate that. That's a lot of pasta. It is a lot of pasta. Why, thank you. I have like a whole shelf dedicated to just pasta. Mm. And... Not all heroes wear capes. All right, that's filled to the brim. How do you like this game? It's really fun. Uh, it's being made by a solo developer, and it's been 
just a really good shop game. That's why people are playing it and watching it in such crazy amounts because it's just fun. People like fun games. Um, thank you for that resub, Abu. That says Dan Panic. Thank you. Why don't we recycle the cardboard? He needs to add a, a recyclable cardboard um, bin because currently all you can do is throw it away. Unfortunately. Maybe one day he'll add that. Okay, no gaps. Because right now all we have is a is a trash can. We can't do anything else. Let's put that all there. Uh, honeybee cereal. Okay, restock that. All right, and coffee. Okay, a little more coffee required. Okay, did that. Uh, cookie crisp. Let's see if we can restock that. Yep, cookie crisp. Why, thank you. Almost done. How about oil? Perfect. No gaps. Why does people care about recycling in a video game? I mean, to be fair, yeah. You don't have to recycle in a video game, I'm sure. But, you know, it's nice to, like, get people in the habit of recycling. Even in a video game. That way it just becomes, you know, normal. People just think of it right away. You know, build habits. All right, and then put that down there. All right, I think that after this, we are fully stocked uh, from the back. There's no more thing we can get out of the back. Okay. Let's continue. That shelf there. Might want to split. Might want to do the walk, like double water. All right, what was I, what were we up to? We were up to tuna, steak, soda. I need one other diet soda. And one regular soda. And then both juices. Okay, get that ordered. And then we need eight count eggs and four count eggs. Both those eggs. Yeah, we're going to get one, two, three, one, two of the water to get that, those split up and uh, separated. Um, both pastas. One, two. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. To make sure there's no gaps. Okay, I need rice and flour. Rice, flour. All right, let's get this on the shelf. Because well, again, today I'm going to make minutes. sure that this is completely stocked with no gaps. I want to, the, for the first time, be able to have no gaps, make it all filled to the brim. We haven't had that in forever. I want it at least once, you know? You hate that it's in the street? They need to add, like, a docking bay or something. Yeah, so you don't, so none of the packages, like, get thrown out into the, into the road. Like garbage. It would be nice to have some sort of docking bay in the back as an up, as, at least as an upgrade to work towards. To get packages delivered, and then people in the back could, like, put it in the back stock, and then the, the restocker could come out and restock them. That would be nice. You know, nice. Yeah, put that there. More flour. Put that there. Ah, uh, tuna. Refill all of the tuna. All right, and then flour. And still that. Uh, there's no theft in the game currently. Eventually there will be, but for right now there's no theft. Alright, 
Um, your store looks nice. Oh, thank you. I like my layout. I think it's cute. Nice, cute little layout. Very spacious, but not too spacious. Uses room. Uses um, the space very efficiently, which I like. Uh, spaghetti. Let's get that on the shelf. Uh, why is your milk and water separated? Because I was watching, the, I was listening to the radio, and I got an instruction that said keep them separated, and they kept repeating that. So I was like, oh, I'll keep my, I shall keep the waters separated. Just following instructions. Keep them separated. Yeah. Beef. Oh, put that there. All right, regular soda. May chat honor you with a feast. Boom. Nope. Boom. There we go. Uh, we don't know. Uh, nothing expires yet. So today, there's supposed to be an update coming out today. We don't know when. He's, and he said he's going to try his hardest, but it may not come out today, even with the promises. Because, you know, stuff gets delayed, stuff gets broken when you're working on it. So, we will see. And the update today will contain... Um, it's going to have the ability to type... Oh. So when you're right here on the numpad, you'll, on this thing, you'll be able to type with your numpad to type the totals in. You'll be able to hire a restocker to restock the shelves for you. And then the other thing, I think you can move the computer into the storage room. I think those are the three things that are supposed to be in the update today. Some really nice quality of life stuff. The numpad alone is going to be a massive improvement. Just, just to do the checkout much quicker. Yeah, moving the computer in the storage room is nice. Like, all that stuff is good stuff that people want. Whee! Whee! There you go. Uh, pasta. Not all heroes wear capes. Okay, no gaps. Perfect. And... Okay, waterfall. Yeah, the developer is good. He's been focusing on the things that people want the most. So the restocker is a thing that people have been requesting more than anything else. So that's what he's focusing on. It's a sign of a good dev is listening to feedback. And doing as best they, as they can. Okay, no gaps. No gaps. Perfect. Put that there. Store is looking good now. I know it's it's looking great. Yeah, the, the another area of the game that needs some love is the price changing and also reordering and picking up packages. Like, there's lots of areas of the game that can be improved with all over. The... So there's lots of little things that can. Imp that would improve the game a lot if we got them. Little things. Need butter? Yeah. We'll go we'll get there in a second. Right now I'm just restocking the stuff that I've ordered already. Just see if we need to order anything else. Because we're gonna get the shelves full and not need anything else. Alright, put that there. Put this over here. And apple juice. Okay, put that over there. All right, now let's continue. <laughs> we need butter. Lots of butter. Let's order two things of butter. Trash can inside. Oh, God. I, I, I do hope that we can either A, move this trash can be by another trash can that's better and nicer looking and move it inside the store that would be amazing 
Pictures on the side of the boxes would be huge as well. If we can get a picture on the side here that shows us what we need. Yogurt. Oh my god, I don't have any yogurt. <gasps> no. Okay, I need yogurt. Thank you. I forgot that existed. Okay, pizza. Chicken. Uh, pizza, chicken. Pizza. Pizza and chicken. And yogurt. And butter. Hmm. Yep. Okay, we'll put this over here. More chicken. Okay, need even more chicken. Okay, another one. Dan is gaming. Yes, he is. Okay, filling that over there. And put that in the back. Raw chicken on the shelf. Okay, pizza. Fill that in. <laughs> All right, it's good. Uh, pizza will go here. The second pizza will go there as well. Uh, yogurt. I haven't had yogurt in forever. It's been. I forgot that it was a thing. I, I forgot that the bottom shelf was yogurt in the past. All right, now we got yogurt. And then we're gonna put the yogurt onto the shelf. And then we're gonna restock. What is this? Oh, butter! Delicious butter. And that comes with so much butter. And then fill that in. Getting a full restock of every product is a daunting task now. And we're just getting started. We're going to get more licenses to get more products soon. <laughs> we'll have to stock even more. All right, that Fleur needs to move. Do I have more Fleur in the back? No, I haven't ordered the Fleur yet. All right, Fleur. Okay, get that Fleur. And then we need... Salt. Another salt package. Uh, cereal. Sugar. Cereal and sugar. Okay, get that sugar as well. Chocolate. Okay, chocolate. Uh, probably two chocolates, not just one. Two chocolates. Um, one of the regular coffee, one of the other. All right, three of those. We'll get that full. Um. Extra Not of, all heroes wear capes. Extra of the regular sugar. Sugar. We need some taters. Taters precious. Some taters. Um like all the cleaning products except dishwashing liquid. So cleaning. All right, some of that. Um, get that full. Okay, see where that gets us now. We'll order all that. Uh, thank you for the resub, Kerbal. Appreciate that. Is this game on PS4? No, it's only on PC and only on Steam currently on PC. 
Uh, the, Steam is just the best platform to develop a game on because you can release updates instantly, whereas on console you have to wait uh, up to like two weeks to get it, your patches out, which can be really annoying when you're trying to get quick patches out while in development. So that's why you don't see more games in development on console until they're done. Because they made the patching process such an annoyance for developers. Alright. And boop. Thank you for the uh, roses, Haley, on TikTok. Um, cleaning supply. Oh, over here. My braid's starting to get to mush. All right, uh, fill in the gaps. Need one more of those boxes. Hopefully, I bought two. Potatoes. I wish we get like a uh, different shelf for vegetables. Like potatoes should be not kept on a shelf like that. They should be in a a bin. Because when you go to the supermarket, you see like a bin full of potatoes, bunch of sacks in there. Okay, no gaps. You can get roses and galaxies on TikTok. Well, the way it works on uh, TikTok is, you know, on on Twitch, there's uh, bits, which are, you know, those little symbols that you can give, which are worth money. On TikTok, they have that too, but they, it's called gifts, and they are there's hundreds of different gifts that you can give. They're all worth different values. There's no, like, common theme or anything, but they're just worth a certain amount. Yeah, like little, they're like little, uh, like bits. You know, you give someone a bit, it's worth a penny. It's about the same for like a, a penny is a rose on TikTok. And a few other things are also a penny. Some are worth like 10 pennies. Yeah, cheering is what they call it on Twitch as well. It's the official term for it, but no one calls it cheering. We all call it bits. All right, and more sugar. It's almost fully restocked for the first time ever. I can't believe it's not butter, yes. All right, put it there. All right, let's go to put the coffee over on the shelf. Um, over here. And let's go ahead and grab some. I don't think I need any chocolate, so let's put this in the back. I mean, in real life, I need chocolate, but not for the game. All right, uh, put that there. Throw that away. Chocolate. Chocolate, right here. In our impulse buy aisle. All right, uh, sugar over here. Fill that to the brim. Good, no gaps. We have almost completely restocked the store top to bottom. Almost. I think the potatoes are full. Yep, okay. And fill in that, no gaps. Just got the game because you, you uh, made it look so much fun. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy. Sometimes I have a lot of fun with games, um, and people buy the game. They're like, I don't know. You were having so much fun, but I bought it. No, I'm not. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I'm not having as much fun as you seem to be having. <laughs> I've had people say that before. I'm like, oh, it looked so much fun when you were playing it. All right, I'll put hands up over here. All right, and looks like some more down here. Oh, my God, no gaps. Dance professional, I'm thinking, making things look fun. True, I guess. Ooh, honey, I know what I can do with that honey right there. 
have honey ideas, which are pretty sweet. Okay, fill that in. Don't I have to get some more. How about Bum Simulator? Bum Simulator was hilarious. That game had no right to be as well designed and as fun as it was, but it was super fun. All right, uh, fill that in. We're gonna need some more. We still have some gaps. Um, flower. Oh, I gotta put that in the back. That box has been sitting there forever. There, there was more flour in it. Just a few boxes. All right, some salt. Well, I guess I'll fill that with salt for now. Okay, so I need, we need salt. Actually, I need more bleach. Two beach, two more bleaches. More hands, two hand soap, two shampoo. Um, how many cleaner? One, two cleaners. Uh, we're gonna need more salt. Salt. One container will fill it up. Um, more brown sugar. We're out of brown sugar. I'm about to take out a loan. We're going to get this damn thing done. All right, brown sugar. I need cake and candy. Cake. And candy, cake, and candy. Cake and candy, we'll get that full. Uh, we need some milk. We're out of milk. One, two, three, four milks. Um, Okay, full, 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 full. Will be full. Will be full. Cake, candy, fill that up. Uh, one dishwashing liquid. Uh, that'll be full. Fries, chat's right, fries. Les frites, j'aime les frites. Honey, lots of honey too. One, two. One, two, three, honey. All right, let's see if that's enough. This should be enough to finally have the entire st store stocked. At long last. With no gaps. Fire that delivery guy. I know he just drops all my stuff that's on the floor. Absolutely insane. Yeah, I'm excited for the next hip day too. Hopefully we get it hopefully we get it today because we're all wanting it so badly. He knows we want it. And he's working as hard as he can on it. All right, uh, some milk. Then I can sit back and watch the money pour in. No, I can sit back and then cashier people and then watch the shelves empty and see how much work I have to do again. That's what I get to do. My reward is to get more work of restocking. All right, filled to the brim. Boom, no gaps. No gaps. Um, honey, all the honey. Then 
There we go. Full. How about over here? Both full. Perfect. How's Dan's groceries doing today? We're doing good. We're about to completely fill in the, the inventory for the first time ever where there's no gaps. It's all filled for about two seconds. Okay, fill. Okay, now it's full. May chat honor you with a we have four dollars left. Thank you, the Tice Gaming, for that sub. Appreciate that. All right, and then okay, we're full on these. Yep. Oh, Lordy! Why, thank you. Okay, get this on the shelf. Okay, all full. All right, the milk. I'll put this over here. Okay, more hand soap. Oh my god, it's a beautiful thing. There's no gaps. That milk is not stored in the fridge for whatever reason. I don't know. What's that? Oh, salt. Oh my god, we did it. Look. Ah, peanut butter! God. Okay, peanut butter. And bread. Oh my god, I missed the bread. And tea. Wait, I have I have tea in the back. I don't have black tea, so get the black tea as well. Have to take out another loan. Damn. Black tea. Okay. We're so close, I can taste that. Oh, I need another thing of bread. You're, I know the bank loves me for taking all these loans. I'm one bread short. There we go. Ah, okay. And with that, every single shelf is filled with no gaps at all. It's all filled to the brim. Every slot is full. Milk has a gap? What? Ah! Why? The damn milk. Okay, now after the milk. Ah. Killing me here. Game, you're killing me. All right. Okay, there's no gaps. Everything's full. Every slot is filled to the brim. Now, as long as we never open the store, um, it will be perfectly... Oh, let's adjust prices. All right, uh, $3 is fine. $7.25. Nineteen fifty. Six twenty-five. Nineteen fifty. 
Five dollars. Three twenty-five. Five dollars. Five twenty-five. Thirteen twenty-five. Seven dollars. Five dollars. Oh wow, six fifty. Five dollars. Two twenty-five. Six dollars. Four twenty-five. Uh, four twenty-five. Oh, seven fifty. Double profit on that. Seven. Let's just go eight dollars even. Three twenty-five. Six dollars. Fifteen seventy-five. Four dollars. Three seventy-five. Two seventy-six. Three dollars. Five dollars, five twenty-five, four dollars, dollar ninety, three dollars, two two fifty, four fifty, two seventy-five, three dollars, three dollars, three fifty, three fifty, seven twenty-five, twenty-three, twenty-one, thirteen, thirteen. Eight twenty-five, seven twenty-five, four fifty. What? Ten twenty-five. Oh, uh, five fifty. Oh, five fifty. I like to keep them near the price. I don't like to get the um anyone to say that it's too expensive. Five seventy-five. Four twenty-five, five dollars. Um, four dollars even. Five twenty-five, five twenty-five. Nine fifty, eight fifty, six dollars. Fourteen fifty, nine twenty-five, twelve twenty-five, five thirty. Okay. And we're opening. Ah. We're open. And we're going to ruin it. <laughs> okay, we're going to pay off that loan that we took out with the other loan we took out. Because <laughs> that works. How will I pay the ba bank back? We now sell the products for more than we bought them for. You should make a 50% to like 50% up to 100% profit with um, all your prices. I uh, if I accidentally got I didn't do a, a increment of 25. It's okay. It's fine. Sir, don't come to my lane. They're open. Oh. Hi, sir. Thank you for the money. Thirteen fifty. Hello, Mr. Smith. Oh, my God. She likes her moussaka. <laughs> She's just buying it up like a storm. Oh, it's Taylor Swift. Hi, Taylor. I'm open over here, sirs, if you need to check out. Sixty-three seventy-five, ma'am. Uh currently the game's only on PC. It's not on console yet. Won't be on console until he finishes the game, which could be a couple years. Judging by the prices. The features he wants to add and how fast he's doing updates, it'll probably be about a couple years. At, if Unless he hires other people to help him now. 
Uh, one nineteen seventy-five. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Welcome to Dan's Groceries. Are you a member? All right. Let's see. Exact change. Thank you. Ooh, hello, ma'am. Thank you for shopping. That's a lot of juice. Um, sixty-four seventy-five. You have a great day. Do you still have uh, cents? Yes, there's still pennies and stuff. Uh, there's a push to make everything um, digital, or at least all paper. But for now, we still have coins. Uh, I, I expect one day, though, everything will be, like, digital or at least all paper. Mm -hmm. Beep. 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 Yeah, no produce except potatoes. It, uh, produce will be in a future update where you'll be able to wait, they'll be able to waste stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seventy-five cents. One second. Oh, uh, hello. Thank you, sir. 83.50. Hi, sir. It's a lot of water. Thank you very much. That'll be 66.02. You have a great day now. Yeah, game's only on PC currently, but I expect it'll be on console as soon as he gets it done. Or if he puts it in the early access program. Uh, hi, ma'am. Can I help you? All these empty gaps. Uh, all these gaps in the products now. Uh, I had it all perfect. Now they're just trying to whittle away my inventory. And they keep buying my stuff. It's a never-ending process. You put stuff out, and then they just buy it up, and then you got to restock it. Five dollars. Have a great day. Pay off early. Boom. Loan has been repaid. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. Two twenty-five. You have to physically restock. Yes. Not all heroes wear. Twenty cents. Yep, through Steam only currently. It'll be nice when we get the like produce update. We got apples and oranges and berries and stuff. Bananas. Okay, the rice is getting low. Let me just go back here and start restocking stuff that we can. All right, put that there. About the chocolate. Okay, that box is empty. How about the shampoo? Yeah, that was a lot of shampoo. Okay, restocked. What is this? Uh, sushi. A little sushi. Alright, put that in the back. Um, 12 count eggs. Fill that back up. I'm on my way. Uh, will you be able to hire a stalker? Uh, Shift Tree, there's currently an update that should be hitting today. That's finally going to add the restocker position. And when that happens, we shall rejoice. The choir shall sing. And we shall sing the praises upon the developer for finally putting the restocker in the game. Which will help immensely, I, I would assume. It's probably going to be quite the update when they finally get that in the game. Uh, Musaka. I know she was buying some, so let's put it over here. Uh, some candy. 
No one's buying the candy. Why? Hmm, I don't know. You tell me you don't want five dollar you won't pay five dollars for a bag of simple candy? Well, I'll be. Okay, fill that up. Uh, theft will be in the game later when they implement the IRS. I, I mean, sorry, uh, thieves and stuff. Same thing. All right, put that there. Uh, Musaka. Put some of this out there. Perfect. <laughs> All right, and throw it in there. All right, let's scan all this. Hello, sir. $42.25. Thank you. Hello, sir. It's a lot of bleach. Uh, nine do oh, nope, nope. You're not getting a 10. Nine dollars and 70 cents. I need to get rid of these pennies, sir. There you go. <laughs> if you're going to pay with cash to inconvenience me, I will inconvenience you right back. All right, next day. Negative 300 profit that day. Nice. Four packs of eggs, tuna, and bottled water. Four packs of eggs. Tuna. Ooh, eight dollars. And one of the water bottles went up in price. Nope. We're, we're fine. All right. I'll open and you guys go ahead and sail while I restock everything. Okay. Boom. Luckily, we do have quite a bit of restock in the back. Okay, those are good. Uh, Cookie Crisp, we'll restock that. Okay. We made very good money, though. One day, made like three grand. A ve uh, what is the next license cost? It's going to be pretty expensive. It's $2,800. Then we can sell crab sticks, hot sauce, ice cream, chocolate, ketchup, mayonnaise, and pizza cheddar. Oh, cheddar pizza. Sounds pretty good. There's some good stuff in there. Yeah, especially ice cream. Wow, thank you for all those follows on TikTok, guys. Appreciate that. That's an amazing way to show support. Uh, TikTok loves when people follow streams. So thank you so much. It gets us on the For You page. So thank you for supporting the channel. All right, let's go ahead and throw this away. Oh, my God, so many of you guys. Thank you. Are you able to get a bigger store? Yes, there's lots of upgrades left. They're just expensive as hell. Just super expensive. All right, let's restock the eggs. These are eight-count eggs. Um, we'll go throw this away. Um, need a few more eight counts. Perfect. Uh, four count eggs. We'll do that. I always see the little containers of four count eggs. But I'm just, it's such a little baby package. I've never bought a baby package of eggs. I probably should, but they're always so more expensive than the bigger ones because you per egg. You always get more if you buy the big... You get them cheaper if you buy the bigger packages. So I always get the bigger package. Even if I don't plan on using it right away, it's just like I I just can't only get four eggs. Yeah, it's good if you're like just gonna bake like a cake or something and that's the only thing you're gonna use an egg for for like a week or two. So. But just like you just pay so much more for each egg. 
Thank you. And a hundred. Oh my God, sir. Really? You're going to make me break a hundred first thing in the morning? You know, they have debit cards now, sir. There you go. <laughs> okay, 74, 75. Thank you. All right, grab that. Uh, 39, 25. Thank you, sir. All right, beautiful. And thank you for the change. Grab a box and restock. Okay, refill in the floor. Oh, still got one. I'll leave that there. Eventually that will go and I'll throw it on there. Uh, how about cake? Nope, oh, we're good on cake. Chocolate. Yep, throw that away. I know he's all set to go to the strip club if he wants to. <laughs> he, he's got ones for a lifetime now. Throwing pennies. Oh, my God. I think you get kicked out for that. All right. Uh, throw this here. Oh, restock the potatoes. <laughs> Instead of making it rain, he'll make it hail for some person dancing. <laughs> make it hail, baby. All right. Uh, peanut butter. Can we restock some of that? Yeah. Thank you. Penny size hail. Well, All right. Uh, hello there, you saucy Oh, minx. thank you for subbing Floyd Python and Nessel. Thank you for the sub. Not all heroes wear capes. Uh, restock the bread. Yep, there we go. As the store level gets higher, they start buying more and more groceries time. Oh, my God. Toby's my name with the gift. Thank you so much for the... Looks like cute little bears. Thank you. How about the veal? Okay. Put that away. Um, juice. Refill the juice containers. Okay, there you go. Oh, and thank you for the fingers as well. All right, uh, nope, oh, those are rare. I think we're good on that. Um, bread, tuna. Let me put that there. Throw that away. Um, how about water? There we go. Fill that in. And some more water even. There you go. How's Tiba doing this morning? I don't know. She's around here somewhere. Cats kind of do their own thing until they're hungry, then they show up. Like, wah, 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 where's my food? Same? Yeah, I'm kind of same way. <laughs> I'm just in my room until it's dinner time. Then I show up late. Wait, hey, what's up? All right. Uh, thank you. Couldn't find any crispy chibi cereal. What? <gasps> How are we out of cookie crisp? Already? They cleaned me out of that cereal. Like the shelf is just bare. They like hit it like ravenous animals. Okay, milk's still full. Do I have any more cereal? I can't I can't remember. Um nope, nope, nope. Maybe not. I thought I had some somewhere. He really needs to add stickers to the sides of boxes. That would help out so much. 
Is this game actually fun? Well, let me describe this game for you, and then you decide for yourself. So you get to work in a shop to ring up people's groceries and restock the shelves all day long. You're constantly in debt. You're struggling to pay all your bills. And customers never can find what they want fast enough because you always run out of it. And then for all this work, you'll get paid no money. Instead, you will pay $13 to Steam for the honor of doing it. See, on paper, it's, the game sounds like, what? People do this? But it's actually really fun. I don't know why, but it is. I know it shouldn't be fun, but it is very fun. All right, let's ring some people out. We gotta restock groceries tomorrow. 425, thank you. $27, oh, $270, nope. Thank you. Seven fifty. Boom. Okay, we. I'm obsessed with this game, and I don't know why. I know. It's just a really fun game. Something about it just works. Seventy dollars. Thank you, sir. It's a lot of meat. Seven eighty-five. Thank you. All right. Wow, I have seven six thousand dollars. You know what that means, don't you? We can get new product. All right, let's do it. Let's um get a new license. And we're going to buy all of the new stuff. We get ketchup, mayonnaise, hot sauce, ice cream, and some pizzas. And, and some crab sticks. I need to fit in another freezer. I'm going to have to squeeze this in somehow. Somewhere around here. All right, let's see if I can get it to fit. I think we can make it work. Just had to really play with the pixels here. All right, there we go. It, hold on. Yep. <laughs> yeah, last year had a really good game called uh, Border Patrol Simulator. Also made that job seem really fun and crazy. Whereas it's probably not all that glamorous in real life. You know, it works. It works. All right. Now i got to find room for all every product we have here. So we have, what, pizza? Wait, that's, it's beef cheddar pizza? So kind of like hamburger pizza? Hmm. That could be good. Krausty pizza. Yeah, cheeseburger pizza is pretty good. It's usually you have hamburger beef and then cheddar cheese instead of mozzarella. And it's pretty good. It's, um, in the words of Larry David and Kirby Enthusiasm, it's Pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty good. All right, um, buy that. I'm going to have to squeeze in another shelf somehow. Hmm. We have to condense somewhere. So let's, um, we shall make the candy only take one shelf, I guess, instead of two, and put the condoms, condom mitts over on the other side. Is 
the condiments over there. Wait, is this freezer or fridge? Let's see. Nope, freezer. Okay. So one less chicken and then some freezer. Interesting. Can I fit one more shelf in here comfortably? Well, not exactly comfortably, but I can. This little gap right here drives me nuts. It just could fit a, just a slightly smaller shelf in there. It'd be great. Just a little bit smaller is all I need. Just a little bit. Okay, I'll put this pizza in the back. Ice cream? Oh my god, ice cream's gonna require a shelf as well. I know, I need to expand, but expansion is so pricey. Just very expensive. That ice cream looks good. It looks like it's mint, chocolate, and uh, nuts. Sounds delicious. Do you want to chat? Like, uh, chat, let's shout out. Uh, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Your favorite flavor. Like, if you had to pick a favorite, what's your favorite? Strawberry balsamic. Wait, bals they put balsamic on strawberry? I've never heard of that. Chocolate pistachio, vanilla, caramel, cookies and cream, rocky road, melon, melon ice cream. Uh, ham and pineapple. <laughs> pistachio is really good. I'll say good gelato if you like gelato. Cookies and cream, that's good. I'll put this over here. Pumpkin mustard ice cream? I've never heard of that. So many interesting flavors in other countries. Not all heroes wear capes. Mm, can I? Let me see. No, can't quite do it. Can't quite fit it there. I still got to find a way. Uh, let's just move this whole shelf. Over here for a minute. And we're going to move this whole shelf in the back. And then we're going to put... Um, This right here. All the sweets. Then we're going to put the um, ketchup and stuff over here. Ooh, hot sauce. I love hot sauce. Hot sauce is delicious. My stomach doesn't like it, but I like it. Like more hot sauce. And then some catsup. How do you like it? I like it just, a, I just like it um, about as hot as most buffalo sauces. Not like, not like the intensely hot stuff. Just like whatever buffalo sauce is usually, whatever that baseline. Any higher than that. It's just too much for me. I'm just like, nope. No, thank you. Ooh, that's mayo. Did I not get two mayos? I thought I got two mayos. Oh, yeah, there's the other mayo. A lot of condiments over here. We're missing mustard. We have ke mayo, ketchup, hot sauce, but no mustard? In 2020? When do I get mustard? So glad you can pick stuff back off the shelf. Yes, but you can't take stuff out of the garbage if you accidentally throw it in the garbage. 
I learned that out the hard way. Uh, if, you, if you accidentally throw something in the garbage, um, it's there forever. You can't get it back out. Even if it's full of expensive products. You could throw away full boxes. Yeah, there's no confirmation or anything. If you accidentally click on a, a box on top of the uh, trash can, it'll throw the whole thing away. So if you're up over here, you're picking up a box, and you're accidentally clicking as you... It just goes like, boop, <laughs> gone. No confirmation, no error mess. Just it's just gone. All right, put that there. Uh, toilet paper. How are we doing on toilet paper? Oh, we're almost empty. Okay, restock that. Yeah, just like that South Park episode, and it's gone. We're first going to put your money into some 401ks. We're going to open up a Roth IRA. We're going to invest all the money in stock trades. And it's gone. <laughs> yeah. It's gone? Yeah. We could try again, though. All right. We're going to take your $100. We're going to diversify your income. Put it in a box. Uh, st in some stocks and bonds. Some investments. And it's gone. <laughs> Um. Oh, apple juice. Put that over there. Try a little sushi. Can we restock that? Yep. Do you invest? Yeah, I have retirement accounts. If you have a 401k or a Roth IRA, that stuff gets invested usually automatically by whoever um, put it in there for you. That's how that works. That's how it stays above inflation. Um, how about little eggs? Yep, one. Does Twitch offer health insurance? No, Twitch um, is... Everyone on Twitch is considered a contractor, therefore they don't have to provide any health benefits, any um, support at all to the people that are contracted due to uh, loopholes. All right, and we're restocking before we uh, do anything else. Okay, restock that. Does working at Dan's Mart uh, provide retirement benefits? Yes. It, for every year you work at our, our um, grocery store, we will give you one extra five-minute break a year. So that's like long-term health benefits right there. But those, with all that extra like time off, you're gonna be healthy as hell. You'll be so healthy. You won't need health insurance. Hmm. All right, uh, milk. You stock the milk. Looks fine. You're so distracted, you keep doing the same ones. I know, Ravi. <laughs> My brain just goes, ah. Keeping up with three chats and playing a game and talking to people and, like, running a store and um, secretly organizing a real-life bank heist off-stream. Like, it's a lot to keep track of. Wait, wait, what did I say? I mean, um, I'm I'm opening a new business for walking dogs. That's that that's what I meant to say. What did I say? Oh. Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely I'm not doing like don't pay attention to the news. Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> he really wants the tea and the cake to go. I know, I keep wanting I keep grabbing the first thing that my brain sees and then I try to restock that. My <laughs> oops every time. Okay, butter restocked. 
Uh, we'll set the prices in just a minute for all the new stuff. That'll be the last thing we do. Let me restock the salmon stuff over here. All right, we need to restock the moussaka. How about chocolate? Did I do this one yet? Yes, of course. We're out of cookie, Chris. Let me go grab that as well. Restock the salmon. It's a lot of salmon. Um, what is this? Moussaka. Stop the Rusa. Moussaka. Perfect. And then put this back. Um, hello. Uh, tuna. Restock the tuna. Okay, empty. Perfect. We'll get to the prices when we open the store where the store is not open yet. Uh, we are a time lord and have halted time until we decide to open the store. You ever feel like a day is going by really slowly? That's because um, a grocery store manager decided they needed extra time in the morning so they held time at 8 a.m. for an infinite amount of time so sometimes those early morning hours feel like hours because it has been hours they stop time to get some stuff done uh, we don't have cheesy poofs yet hopefully we get some cheesy poofs at some point Um, oh, water. That's all the same water over here, isn't it? No, nope. put that there. Orange juice. Missed that. All right, orange juice. Stock all that up. Mm, orange juice. There it is. My brain just was like collapsing on itself like a dying star. Name of this game, it's called Supermarket Simulator. It's on Steam. It's about 13 US dollars. And it's been selling like crazy because it's just very fun. I would imagine that some people in chat at this very minute are playing this game and listening to my stream in the background while they're playing themselves. I assume that's at least some of you. Finally, I can do my job in off hours. Yes. That's the life. Work a real job at... Work a real um, job at a store for 30 hours, then come home, and then do it again at home for another 20 hours. Just all day. 24-7 work in the store. Mm, bread. I think I can put the pasta out. Yep. Pasta. Uh, potatoes. Yes, we are completely out of potatoes. Flour. Flour. Wait. We could use red flour, yes. Let me grab the red flour again. Red flour. Why are simulation games so addicting? Because real life is is often not as exciting or as fun as a game version of a life. Game versions are just tend to be a lot more fun. Uh, honey cereal. We stock that, please. Uh, weed shop four next month. It, it, there's a weed shop four. I didn't hear anything about that. When's it coming out? Moussaka. Bottle water. Bottle water. Okay, I think that's everything. That's. Oh, I don't think I checked the oil. Yep, throw that away. Uh, check the oil over here again. 
Okay, we need Cookie Crisp. We need... Cookie Crisp is the only thing I'm, like, completely out of. Also, what was here? Something was there, but now it's... Rice! Cookie out of rice. Okay, rice. And cereal. Okay, restock that. Oh, and potatoes. And toilet paper. And chicken. Okay, get those stopped. There we go. Add some more toilet paper. More toilet paper. And there you go. Add some more chicken. Perfect. Out of potatoes, thank you guys for all the reminders in chat. It helps me out. I tend to forget stuff. I'm getting older. My sometimes the brain's like a like a colander. It goes in and then just drains out the ver the bottom without anything staying in there. All right, throw all that in there. Perfect. Uh, the, what city oh, are we in in the game? You. I don't think it's a real place because there's no exit. It's just a big square where no one can leave. It's Truman Show style. Are we out of milk? No, we got some milk. Okay. Some more of this cereal. Fill all that in. Perfect. And cookie crisp. Uh, NMM5, uh, thank you for that sub. Appreciate that. This is going to be Amazon's next product, Amazon Instant, where they deliver a product um, as soon as you click the order button because they used AI to determine that you were going to order that. So they already had shipped it to you days before because they knew that you on that day were most likely going to order this product. So just... Shows up. Oh, tall heroes wear capes. And you start to wonder, did I really want this or did they order it for me? I just think I want it. Hmm. Amazon now. Sugar and cereal. Cereal. Not that one. Milk is in the fridge. You don't have to store anything in freezers in this. Nothing goes bad. They haven't implemented like expiration dates yet. That will be in the future though. So don't don't think that's gonna be a mechanic forever, because they will change it. And when they do, I will lose lots of products because I'll forget that that's a thing constantly. <laughs> but eventually there will be expiration dates on products and you'll have to like keep track of make sure things are refrigerated and stuff. But for right now, you don't. Keep buying this chocolate cereal, and I have so much of it. Not all heroes wear capes. Thank you for that, Risa. Bull, uh, ball sack? Sorry, no. Bull rack. Bull rack, thank you for 68 months. Appreciate that. Stable shelf milk. Yeah, some of the shelf or milk right there is fine. All right, let's see, and more. All right, let's put the cereal in the back over here with the other cereal. And then more sugar. Okay. Mm I think we're mostly stocked. We got like a good 80% of everything stocked. Let's go do prices for new stuff though. So this is we'll do uh, five twenty-five for the ice cream. Five 
The crab legs will be 1025. Eight dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> Eight fifty. Uh, the condiments over here. We need to make those for twenty five. And three twenty-five, and then this one will be mayonnaise is ten twenty-five. Damn, that's expensive. Did I get something else? I think that's all the new stuff. Crab leg. Oh, the crab legs, pizza, ice cream. I think that was everything. Yeah, it must be some good mayo to be that expensive. That's crazy. Cheese. No, the cheat. We're out of all the cheeses. We have a cheese emergency. Cheese emergency. Okay, quickly. <laughs> Fill the cheese in. I know. If you have a cheese emergency, do you have to call the Swiss Army? Alright, over here. <laughs> Boo. Oh, man, I'm sorry. That joke wasn't very Gouda. <laughs> okay, cheese. Oh brother, I know. I'm try I it it's bad. As I've gotten older, the dad jokes just flow like water sometimes. It's a horrible power. All right, cheese. Uh we had the store closed, but we finally opened it so customers now buying stuff off our shelves. Now we're making the money. Okay, now we got cheese. <gasps> big sushi. Almost out of big sushi. Okay, sushi. Okay, restocking the sushi. The sush. Now I need the big sushi as well. Grocery store sushi is a disgrace. I mean, it's not gonna be as good as like freshly cut, but it's fine. It's a gamble though. You, you're like gambling that this uncooked fish is going to not kill you, but <laughs> it's usually pretty good, especially in other countries. Other countries like grocery store food is really good. Like in Japan, grocery store food is very, very nice. Okay, I'm going to run the bathroom real fast, guys. Um, if a customer comes up, tell them we'll be right back. But it's just a lie. Celine Dion, you got to wait.
Ooh, it's dark in here. Attention store shoppers, we're having a moonlight sale. All groceries will be buy two, get two, tonight only. Thank you. One thing of rice for eight dollars. Thank you, ma'am. There. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, we're fine. The lights don't come on automatically. You have to manually, manually turn them on, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Sending all day for a bag of rice is insane. I know. She was literally there all day. The whole day passed. Ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, oh, big sushi. She got a lot of sushi. Thank you so much, madam. Um, exact change. Thank you. Ooh, ice cream. Nice. 71.54. Very much. Some eggs for seven dollars and fifty cents. All right, and twenty twenty five. Oh, sorry, not two thousand dollars and twenty five cents. That'd be bad. Thank you. Three bags of potatoes. You son of a bitch. You know how much, how annoying those are to restock. Thank you. Um, exact change. Okay, let's go wait for them to finish checking them out. I think it's uh, five people per line max for waiting, or maybe it might be a little more than that. Something like that. There's like a max that will we'll wait, that will queue. All right, restock the bread. All right, go ahead and put this over here. Fries are too expensive. I'll double check the price. Eh, we can make them five twenty-five. Why, thank you. Oh uh, yeah, we keep our sushi in the back, unrefrigerated. It gives it a certain je ne sais quoi quality to it that just makes it nice, you know. Just gives it that extra like bite. Same with our ice cream. We just keep the ice cream in the back, unrefrigerated. You know, it is what it is. It's nice and aged. Oh, put that back right there. And restock the pizza. Perfect pizza. Pizza's also not frozen. Yeah, we serve a special kind of, kind of salmon in our store. Salmonella. It's a very rare catch. It's served free with all our um, seafood dishes. A little salmonella. Uh, let's put this over here. Restock the moussaka. Uh, Toby, thank you again for those gifts. Um, Haley, thank you for the roses. Uh, Renee, thank you for the following on TikTok. I appreciate that. Following helps out so much, so thank you for doing that. Puts us on the For You page. You guys follow the live stream. So thank you for helping the channel out. Yes, free salmonella. Food poisoning sucks. It does. Sucks the life out of you. Uh, I think let's restock the apple juice, which is bought a lot less often. Put that back. Uh, toilet the paper. We we'll shall put that on the shelf over here. Perfect. Do you like moussaka? I've never had it. I've never heard of it. I need to like Google it. People in chat were saying, "Look, they love moussaka," but I don't know what it is because we don't have it here in the United States. Or at least. 
not commonly, so I'd have to like search for it, see what it is. People say it's kind of like lasagna, a little bit. Yeah, it's not something we have here very often. One of the best dishes on the planet. You're feeling uh, claustrophobic. Next expansion would be the gull. Let's see how much money that is. I think it's like 4,400. It's pretty big. Hi, thank huh. you. The next square, which is this square right here. See this little square right here? $6,700. $6,700. Where did you work before streaming? I was a hair loss prevention research researcher. It didn't go very well. We'll just put, we'll say that. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't exactly work out. I tried though. We have here in the states. We're near a Greek town. I mean, I, it's probably somewhere around here. Just I've I've just never seen it personally. Probably in like a shop that has authentic food from other places. Like, if I want to find macaroni and cheese, I can find that anywhere. That's easy to find in the United States. I want deep-fried food. I can find that. Deep-fried Oreos. But nice dishes from other countries are a bit harder. All right. Put that there. Um, how about water? Can we restock some water? Yes, I can. Are loans worth it? Uh, I don't know. Loans are a, loans are nice for quick expansion, but at the same point, at the same time, they cost a lot. They really eat to end your profits. It's it's pretty hard to like get the loans and not have them like drain your resources for a long time after. Bald is very aerodynamic. True, I can't argue with that argument. <laughs> Get all the loans. Um, how about elbow macaroni? <laughs> and put that there and there and that there. Perfect. All right, let's restock. Yep, re sodas. Restock those. Thanks for the reminder. I would love to have a trash can inside the shop. Oh, having to run out with every box is awful. <laughs> oh my god, new followers. And uh, Hondo, thank you for sharing the live. Those things help so much. Thank you, guys. Uh, let's put this over here. And that, and that over there. Yeah, loan's fine. It's, it's going to eat your profits for a while. You'll earn less money per day for a little while just got, as long as you factor that in and it's okay like you still get them all right uh next day boom restocked profit negative twenty two hundred dollars nice nice okay let's open and just start selling stuff while I'm restocking. Are there decorations you can buy? Uh, no, not yet. That is on the list of things that uh, will be in a future update. Is the ability to buy decorations for your shop, like different paint colors, floor patterns, you know, that kind of stuff to make your store feel unique. All right, um, how about we restock um, Kofifi and potatoes? Uh, the developer said that the he's going to try to get the update out today. That will add the restocker, but no promises. He's going to try. He's doing it all himself, so it's going to take a while, but he's working as fast as he can. Alright, 
put this over here. Oh my god, I hope. Me too. Hopefully we get it. That'll be amazing if it happens. I'm so excited this game is so addicting. I know. Uh, let me double check Steam. Let me double check. See if, if it's out. Let's see. Steam. I'll keep... Let me, uh, actually, let me check his Discord. The Discord will have the announcement if it's up. Let me see. <laughs> um, let's see here. Announcements looks like nothing yet. No announcement yet. His Discord is um, the best place to get announcements early. Um, they hit that before they hit the Steam Store update page and stuff. Watching other people play this gives me anxiety because they leave boxes everywhere. I can't handle boxes being everywhere. <laughs> that makes me lose my mind. I'm like, ugh. Throw them away. Put them in the back. Something. See people create big, giant piles of boxes, and it just makes me go, ugh. Uh, Clumsy Joker, thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. Welcome, raiders. Burke has a pile of empty boxes on the street. Oh. I can't watch that. I, I just get upset. I'm just like, pick them up. Pick them up! Throw them away! $18.75. Alright, and... Thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and order some more products. Um... We need some more milk and tea. Get some more milk. Oh, they don't have any milk. Um, let me see if they have any milk. All right, how about some tea? I'll grab some, some steak. And how about orange juice? And apple juice. Actually, we got plenty of apple juice. All right, there we go. Let's put the orange juice on the shelf over in the back. Oh, we're down there. Now that I just checked the update, um, he'll probably release the at least the um, update immediately after I check. And then I'll think it's not up, and then hours will go by before I realize that the game updated. That's the way my luck is. Okay, put the juice there. Some steak. What happened to all the veal? The veal's just gone. People bought all the veal for some reason. Get the veal going. Um, you know, um, I'm actually going to get another employee. Hello, Bob number three. Oh, yeah. Bob number three. We had now have three, bo three Bobs, not just one. Bill. Sorry, Bill. Not Bob, Bill. Yeah, three Bills. Forgot his name, sorry. Um, there you go. Um, let's see. Milk. All right, um, 
Put that away. How about... Oh, green tea. Fill that in. Beautiful. You can put so much tea on the shelf. That's great. I'll put that there. And this as well. All right, then. Now I can work. focus on restocking. Yogurt's too expensive. Did the price change? Nope, he's just cheap. Okay. So, water in the back. Can I grab some water? Let's see. Okay, throw that away. Eggs? Yes, we need to restock the eggs. We gotta go grab them. I can't believe people are playing this. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I, I saw the, the, the game. I'm like, wait a minute. You just do a job and that's the game? And I was like, hmm. I'll try it for a minute. And then I downloaded it, started playing it for a minute. And then an hour and a half flew by. And I was like, what happened? <laughs> Where did the time go? <laughs> It just well, this, this is the game where the, the hours just melt away. They feel like minutes. That's how you know a game is uh, as a fun gameplay loop is when you don't realize time is passing. As quickly as it is. Alright, throw that over there. Just one more run type of energy, yeah. Game is satisfying my weekend if I watch the stream. Well, thank you, Porel. Can I play this on Samsung? No, it's only on PC currently. They may get it on console at some point, but or in mobile, but for right now, they don't. Hello, Tafe. Robots, remote controls in the future? Eventually, yes. There's going to be lots of automation. Ooh, we are out of ketchup. All right, let's order some ketchup. Um... Three boxes of ketchup. Um, let's order the other condiments, too. Just to have backups. Alright, anything we're out of? We are out... What was on top there? Oh, veal. Yeah, we're out of veal. Okay, got the veal ordered. Um, we're out of big sushi, too. Big sushi... Wait, I think we have a little bit in the back. I thought we did. Nope, out of big sushi. Let's get some more big sushi. Some sush. All right, we're just waiting on them to finish um, pricing people out. First time chatter, welcome, Vicky. How much is this game? $13 on Steam. All right, next day, now that he's finally done. Maybe some good money that day. All right, chocolate bar went up in price. Let's see, 450. Something else went down. I can't remember what it was. Oh, 250 for that. Damn. I wonder if that's selling. Uh, once I have enough money, I don't want to instantly buy the expansion because I won't be able to buy products to sell. <laughs> That's the mistake a lot of people make is they, like, finally unlock an expansion. They don't leave any money to buy rebuy products. And then they are screwed. Okay, let's get these on the shelf. Let them open while I'm restocking. Will he work on co-op in the game? Probably not. Oh, that's a little sushi. Oops. Because he's a solo dev, and he's just making the single player. Co-op adds a whole new layer of stuff. It'll pro If they ever do, it'll probably be in a future update. Long after he's done finishing the game. Alright, let's see. All right, throw that away. And stock the ketchup. And then put the veal on there. 
I guess putting the, this back on the shelf is revealing, right? Uh, you can't put the storage, the computer in the storage room yet. In the future, though, you will be able to when the update hits. Hopefully, it get, hopefully the update hits today. Hopefully, it's soon. Hopefully, it's like as I'm talking about it right now, it just hits and I can download it immediately. Oh, yeah, if you guys weren't here yesterday, Julia did give us a new emote on Twitch, if you're a subscriber. Uh, Dan Clown. So if you're feeling like a clown or you think someone else is being a clown, there you go. You can be a, show, your, show how much of a clown you are. Ketchup. I can't put this in the back. Double ketchup. Thank you for the rose, Emily. Appreciate that. The ultimate reveal, yes. <laughs> is this only found on Steam? Yes, it is, Emily. If you're a non-sub and you have better choose to be, you can type Dan Clown and the number two if you want to do a static one. If you want to be a non-animated clown. Okay, we're out of cheese again. I need a, I need more space. I need so much more space. Somehow. Hmm. I have like a little bit of space here. I could put a fridge there too. Hmm. I could fit that in there. I'm going to try. I get this little fridge here. Yeah, I can sneak that guy in there and also maybe get a fridge up here somewhere. Game is on Android and iOS. It shouldn't be because it's not done yet. Let me double check. There might be another game that has a similar title, but let me double check. The game's not on iOS or anything that you're seeing is a knockoff game. That's It's not the same developer. So be careful about that. App stores will often... If a game becomes popular, app stores will make a knockoff version and then throw it up there with the same name just to get people to buy it. Even on Steam... Now, this is how, this is how scummy some people are. Warning, you might get mad. There were people on Steam renaming their games to be Pow World just so people would accidentally buy their game instead of Pow World to get some extra sales. Because people suck sometimes. <laughs> Remember when Pow World was like exploding? There were people renaming their game to Pow World. And Hell Divers had the same issue where people were doing that as well. Because. Scammer's going to scam, you know. How's that possible? Because Steam probably didn't think that people would have that those kind of cojones to just blatantly scam people like that. Because <laughs> like, some people just can't be trusted. Um, that's little sushi. I need more big sushi, I think. Let's let's restock the moussaka. Oh my god, certain things are just selling out like crazy. Uh, this. Let's get this back on the shelf. Alright, and then... Play the game and stop yapping. What have I been... I, am I not playing the game? I'm confused. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a rude-ass comment. <laughs> My god. Like, I am playing the game. 
I'm just restocking shelves. What do you want me to do? Just... Some people are so full of hate and meanness. It's just awful. They just come in and just have to ruin everyone else's time. Uh, usually it's because they're mad at their life and they just want to try to, like, bring you down to their level. Bullies are that way in school. Um, I'm only level 16. It's annoying um, because I have only me and my cashier. Yeah. Uh, once you hit level 20, you'll be able to hire a second one, and it helps a lot. Just sit there and look pretty. Well, I already... I already have trouble with that first look pretty is not something I do easily. <laughs> if at all. Doing a great job doing shame. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I just, I just read that comment. Just like, what? What? Uh. All right. Let's see. Let's go put this over here. Um, let's go ahead and put this over here and throw that there. A good, um, sign that you're a bully is if you have to say the phrase, I'm not a bully. <laughs> That's a good sign. I'm not a bully. If you have to say that, you probably are. Yeah, I was looking at Savog for maybe, like, a couple seconds. <laughs> I was thinking about what to do next. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of that person. She's obviously something wrong with her. All right. There we go. She's gone, guys. Sorry about that. I don't know why she's being so rude. All right. Let's go ahead and throw this over here. And throw that over there. And let's put the cheese in here. Yeah, some people just have no self-awareness awareness about how rude and nasty they make the world around them. You see it all the time in restaurants. Or, God, fast food places. You ever been to a fast food place and you see someone lose their shit over, like, they accidentally put pickles on and you did you you know like and then the person just loses their shit like how dare you <laughs> ah! how dare you put pickles on there when i said no pickles <laughs> oil put that there and that another galaxy from matt r thank you very much i appreciate that all right. Well, okay, chat. Let's let's do a quick um, a quick vibe check. We're gonna go ahead and just breathe in the positivity and breathe away the negativity. Negative negative vibes are not allowed here. We're just gonna breathe them away. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Um. Let's rate your day on a day on a scale of one to five. One is a bad day. Five is a great day. Um, three is an average day. Let's where are you have what's your day like? Let's give a number in chat between one and five. One and five. Let's see. All right. Let's see here. All right. Oh, a lot of twos. Oh, twos are, you know, it'll get better. At least it's not a one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Whoa, a 10? <laughs> You're having a, ten, a, a level 10 day on a scale of 1 to 5. Wow. That's like the greatest day ever. Just like exceptional. 
That's that that day would be like you made the love to, you made love to the person you love. You won the lottery. Um you get a promotion. You you win a free trip. Like all in the same day. Just that's just like the a crazy day. Just like everything goes right. I lost my job take of something I didn't even do. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Some managers suck. They're not good at what they do. Alright, um let's put this back. Okay, throw that away. Oh, or you get to watch Dan stock shelves. I know that's a great day. Watching a streamer stock shelves in a fake store in a video game. <laughs> that's a great day. That's a ten right there. All right, uh, more milk. Okay, throw that away over here. And oh, I put I'm I put a empty box on the shelf. Of course I did. I keep wanting to put this ice cream away. Hot sauce, juice. How about juice? Yeah, we can put the juice out. All right. Uh. Let's go over here. Uh, water. Let's see. Um, water, water, water. Oh, do you guys like eat at Panera Bread? Because I, I, I ate there all the time because um, it used to be really good. Like They were like a really nice treat once in a while. But get this, they are, they're going to be firing all their bakers and switching to frozen bread uh, in the sometime this year. They're going to go around and they're going to stop baking bread in the store that's fresh, freshly made, fresh dough. And they're going to bring in frozen bread and just finish baking it in the oven so they can save a lot of money. So it's not going to be, they won't make stuff in the store fresh anymore. Yeah, so that's fun. They got bought out like four or five years ago, and it's just like they've been going downhill ever since. It's a shame. Uh, some co some other companies that had that happened to was Applebee's used to be really good, and then they got bought out, and then they started cutting costs and stuff, and then now Applebee's food is like okay. At best, I remember I walked into an Applebee's here, and I kid you not, half of the restaurant was just dirty dishes all over the tables. There was dishes piled up everywhere, all over the place. And there was, like, a couple tables on the other side that had a few that were not, that didn't have dishes everywhere. It was awful. It was like, ugh. Oh, Julia sent me an email. Let's see. What is what is it? Play this on MacBook? It's not currently on Mac, but might be in the future. Hopefully. Oh, I like that, Julia. We call it Crapplebees in my city. Last time I went to Applebee's, there was a huge roach in my boyfriend's... No! No, I don't. Ah, gross. Ew. <laughs> Why? Ah, I hate stories like that. It makes me worry about all food forever. All right, let's let's uh, do another full restock of everything. Let's buy all that and restock it. Let me double check. Let's see. Is is the update out yet? Let's see. Uh, no update yet. Darn. <laughs> okay, put this over here. 
All right, let's go over here and restock this, please. Ah, uh, beautiful. Gonna get that oil done. The new update's gonna have a restocker, which is gonna be great. Um, it's gonna be someone that will help you refill the shelves. So you don't have to quite do it all the time, only by yourself. When that goes in the game, it's going to change the game for the better drastically. Because most of the game now is just wait, restocking the shelves throughout the day and never being able to keep up with it. It's just too much. Now, one thing I do worry about is if the stalker is too good, the store may run itself. You won't have to, like, do anything, which might be interesting. If you're, like... You might not have anything to do if, like, they could just restock fast enough and then they can ring everyone out fast enough and just sort of watch the store do its thing. Yeah, we'll see, though. All right, and what's over here? The restocker shouldn't do prices. That'll just be your job as the manager do the pricing I guess yeah I mean there'll be stuff to do just it'll be a, it'll cut down a lot on the day-to-day -day of what you currently do so it's gonna feel different when it's there three dollars for eggs you're gonna pay it and you're gonna like it because I need to have another yacht okay think of us poor rich store owners we need to have things too okay thank you Um, some eggs. Pizza. Let's restock the pizza. Oh, restocked already. I know the prices in this game are all over the place. So they set themselves randomly um, around a middle price. They go up and down all the time. All right. Uh, let's restock that soda over there. We need some Sprite as well. Why, thank you. Is that on the shelf there? What is this? Oh, pe regular pizza. Oh, we're out of that. Uh, Robert De Niro pizza. <laughs> Probably why it tastes so old. Okay, throw it in there. Oh, uh, thank you, Sumkey, for that 17-month resub. Appreciate that. All right, so we have $6,500. We're almost at that point where we can expand again and get a little more space and then a little more product. All right, uh, how about veal chops? Get those restocked. Uh, what is oh, tuna? Big sushi. Big sushi is selling like crazy for some reason. Why is it selling so well? Like, I get it. Sushi's great, but it's selling a little too great. All right, let's open the shop and let's uh, start ordering some stuff. What do we got? We need chicken. We're out of chicken. And fries. Chicken fries. So chicken. Not a cleaning. Not cleaning chicken. That's a different type of chicken. Uh, fries. And what else do we need? Let's go for the Sprite, the soda. Soda. All right, add that on there. Um, some more pasta. Well, actually, just the white pasta for now. I'll get a little bit of everything. And then we need some more chocolate. Oh, we need some more sush. Grab the sush. Yeah, I need tuna. Oh, we need so much stuff, chat. All right, which simulator is this? It's called Supermarket Simulator. It's on Steam. All right, yeah, let's grab this. Only on PC, not on console yet. Uh, Pasta. Fill in those gaps. 
Seven up sprite, you know, whatever brand you want to do. This, this isn't real branded stuff. I thank you. Oh, thank you, um, Kit Kat and Warrior Bloke, for those resubs, guys. You guys are great. Thank you. All right, some chicken. There's some more chicken. And how about some fries? Some bagged French fries. They need some stand-up freezers, too. Having just um, these kind of freezers limits things a bit. Although the regular freezers look very similar to the standing fridges. It won't be that much different of a character model. Why, thank you. Um, more pasta. Cheap, well, cheap shake, there, and I, David, meat. thank you very much, guys, for those free subs. Honey, thank you for the reminder, Jamie. Well, hello there, you saucy minx. And Mr. Pizunt, thank you for that resub. Chief Snake with the brand new sub, thank you. Welcome. Um. We need like a community name. If you guys sub, you are dangerous, maybe. Or you're just dandy. Or. Where the balds, or I don't know, Not something. Not all heroes wear capes. Nautilus, thank you for that resub. The boxes above the fridges are for soda. The nice way to, pl nice easy place to put them. All right, we stock as well. There we go. No, oh, no, no. Perfect, and throw up there. The, the dandelions. <laughs> oh, man. Dandruff? No, we're not going to be dandruff. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's a horrible name. You see how much dandruff Dan got today in <laughs> chat? People will be like, what? Uh, Daggers, thank you for that Prime Gaming sub. Appreciate that. This game looks addicting. I love it. Is it on Steam? Yes, it's on Steam only. You can't play it on mobile or console yet. If you see a game with a similar name, it's not the same if it's not on PC. So be careful about uh, games that are trying to steal this game's success by making their games have the same name. Uh, we got some elbow rice. Sorry, elbow pasta. I can't fill the store fast enough. They're buying stuff so Not quickly. Not all heroes wear capes. This is becoming an issue. I physically can't keep the store stocked enough throughout the day because there's too many people buying too much stuff. It's a struggle. Just like the Lethal Company one that randomly disappeared. Yeah. Lethal Company was another great game made by a solo dev. Solo devs are being like are like really popping off lately. I love seeing a, a developer make a game by themselves and then it explodes in popularity for people playing it. This being one of them, Lethal Company was a great one last year. Indie games are the best. Indie games are kind of like uh, are kind of like evolution where. There's lots of games being made that are all kinds of crazy, chaotic, different ways and patterns, and most of them fail, but occasionally one bubbles to the top and does really, really well. For every one game that capes. explodes and succeeds, there's probably up 50 that fail, unfortunately. It's a very volatile industry for especially indie devs. But indie devs are definitely what keep the creativity alive in the industry. Like, they... Triple-A games are afraid to do anything risky because they don't want to risk all that money. So they do everything very safe, lots of sequels, lots of repeating mechanics, and very dumbed-down difficulties. They don't want to, like, risk that money at all. Whereas any devs will try crazy shit. Crazy shit. And then just somehow succeed wildly. Because they, like, can afford to take more risks. Speaking of solo devs, I'm excited for Concerned Ape's new game, Haunted Chocolatier. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. 
Can you hire people to help stock stuff? Not yet. That's the next update. Will be someone to help you stock the shelves. Uh, we're all desperately wanting that. And he said it might come out this might come out uh, today. Yeah, if you're not aware, Concerned Ape is updating Stardew Valley um, next week um, on the 16th. And it will be a big new update that will add a lot of new stuff um, to the to the uh, Stardew Valley. Oh, 19th. Sorry, 19th. Next week, the 19th to Stardew Valley. It's going to add a lot of new stuff. It's going to be a free update. So if you like that game, uh, make sure you download the update and, and play it. It's going to be great. I know. He just keeps adding that game. It's crazy. You love Stardew Valley? Me too. Could you bring me some OJ from there on your way home? Um, I could ask him, but I don't know. I don't want to be alone. That guy's murders people. <laughs> um, let's put this over here. And it's hot sauce. Hey, but the glove didn't fit, so you must have quit. And put this over here. Put that in here. Sorry, Valley with the first was the first Hi, game you. where I watched you. Awesome, Munch ninety six. Thank you for that sub. That Prime Gaming sub. Appreciate that. All right, more ice cream. Perfect. Display is full. We can expand. Yeah. We are making good money. I got to admit that. We are making good money. Let's do potato. Potato. Uh, what are we out, out of? Flowers. Sugars. All right, so flowers... Sugars. Bill, number three. You got to go faster, Bill. Come on, buddy. I know you're trying hard, but come on. Couldn't find toilet paper. <gasps> oh, no. The shelves are so bare. Okay, tomorrow's got to be a restock day. We're out of everything. Does the stock go bad if it doesn't sell? No. Um, there's no expiration yet, but it will be coming in the future in a future update. So if you're if you want that, it will be in the game in the future. Ah. There we go. We can go home. <laughs> Wait, we have nine thousand dollars. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to try to keep this shelf stocked, but we're going to stay open the whole time. Make that money. Okay, let's do cleaning supplies. That whole area is very empty. Two, one, two, one. Okay, grab all that and see what we can do here. Fill her up. And potato. Um, can I buy some panapoles? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. I wanna guess that word was supposed to be pineapple, but it came out panapoles. <laughs> I'm guessing that's pineapple, but no, we don't have any pineapple. We don't have any fruit at all. Not even apples. Without the apple, how are we going to keep the doctor away? Okay, throw that over there. And boom, boom. Some flour. I have to add more RAM on my laptop in order to play the game. I already bought it, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully they they are they managed to lower the requirements or something to get it so people can play it on 
um, any hardware. It sucks when you buy a game and you can't um, play it. Remember, I would buy games when I was a kid. At we, like now, like listen to me, kids, uh, young people, anyone under the age of twenty-five. Um, they used to sell video games in the store for PC in actual CDs. And you didn't download games. You would only buy them from CDs in stores. So you would buy a game, and sometimes it would come with another game bundled with it. I remember I bought um, I bought Baldur's Gate, and it came bundled with um, Lords of the Realm 2 or something like that, like shrink wrap to it. And then sometimes you buy, you would buy those games. You'd come home, and you realize that your parents' PC can't actually run it because it's not good enough. So I know that, that feeling of being excited about buying a game. And then once you open a CD-ROM back in those days, they wouldn't let you return it because they, people would burn them and try to return them. So once you open the shrink wrap, you couldn't return it. So I know that feeling of like, ugh. Um, okay, more potatoes. Phantasmagoria CD-ROM. There was something nice about, like, Getting those games and having that big PC box and coming home and like in the car you would read the little manual for the book for the game. It was fun. You know, with nostalgia like that, I get nostalgic for like a minute and then I'm like, I I would rather just download it quickly though. <laughs> Same with, with um Blockbuster. It was fun going into Blockbuster, renting a little game, renting a movie. Coming home, watching it with your parents, if you make some popcorn, like those are fun. But you know, I still am gonna choose the option to rent it instantly and download it from in my pajamas. Like it's too convenient. Part of me misses it, part of me does not. You know, just how it is. Uh and fill it up. Okay. It's like I like to be nostalgic by about blockbuster and stuff. It was fun times, but those times are over. It was fun shopping for movies solely on the cover. Like you, you didn't have Rotten Tomatoes to look up on your phone. You you had to you were in the store, and you had to only shop for movies based on the cover art. You couldn't, like, look up a review. You just had to, like, oh, this looks cool. And some of them were so bad. But they had really cool box art. Uh, we need more ketchup. Let's get more ketchup on the shelves. Yeah, everyone's buying ketchup like crazy. Yeah, that's something that's hard to explain to people nowadays is what it was like to just be in the moment in, like, the 90s because we didn't have phones. We didn't have cell phones. So, like, when you would go somewhere, you would have to be in the moment all the time. You could, Or you could daydream, but, like, you would just be in the moment, like, thinking, existing... You didn't have your phone. You just had to, like, look around, be there in the moment. It was a very different time, very different feeling. Nowadays, it's like everyone's so disconnected from the world all the time. Because we're always on our phones and stuff. Like, I do it, too. I'm just, like, hanging out on my phone in public. It's getting kind of scary, too. Sometimes I go through public, and I don't remember how I got through like I'll go I'll go grocery shopping and then somehow I'll like I'll just sort of end up with a cart of groceries and I, I kind of tone out a little bit <laughs> just like time travel like it's getting too easy to disconnect from reality or I'm like walking home and or like I used to walk to and from work every day and I would just Start walking and like daydream and just somehow end up there, which is kind of scary. I don't like remember walking. 
I just, I would just walk back and forth and just sort of tone out and just end up at work. Uh, it's really dangerous when you're driving and that happens. You're like, oh god, somehow I managed to drive home, but I kind of zoned out. When you're in autopilot mode. I have $10,000! Yeah! Oh, hell yeah. We got the money. I don't think I'll spend this money on... Expanding! Boom! Oh my god, we have more space. All right, let's see. How do I get to work now? I walk upstairs to my office. And then I um, start streaming. And I'm like, hey, chat. That's how I get to work now. Sometimes there's traffic. There's like an orange cat on the stairs. And I have to wait in traffic to get to work. But outside of that, it's not too bad. Okay, we got a little bit of space here. Hmm. I like the freezer section, but I think we'll give ourselves a little more space, though. I'm like moving this over. Give ourselves more room to breathe. Ah, a little more space. TPS reports, yeah. I do that all the time, too. <laughs> all right, well. Now that we have more space, I think the first thing we need to do is add more shelves. What is our next um, license? It's going to be beer. Beer, 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 hummus, and vodka. Ooh, vodka. Yeah. So we're going to need more refrigerated shelves. Oh, no. Actually, what if we... Do something like this. This mm. sells a little bit more space. I don't know, it's still really cramped. I'm gonna move Bill. Bill number two over here a little bit more. Oh man, okay. I know. Well, I'm just like seeing how space works here before I actually like do it. Do it. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to try another swap here. I need to make give myself space first. It's going to stay first. So it's day, daylight, so dark. All right, let's see how this will work. Oh, nope. Oh. Swap, swap, swap. All right, something like this.
Except we don't want to have all those stuff there. I'll turn this around. Put on the back side there. Uh, some food really product. Put this over here. This shelf will go over here. Something like that. Organize. Is this game only for PC? Yes, it is. All right, and then move that over here. Move this over there. Have some actual aisles for people to... Oh. That's too far over. Yeah, that that's really really tight there. Um down about that much would be fine, I think. All right, uh, like that, and then something like that. All right, uh, there you go. Careful, careful. Snapping would be nice if we get some sort of snapping update so you can snap things together. Either snap, either shelves snap together, or there, there's a grid pattern on the floor. Something just to help a little bit. All right, that helps a little. And I think um, Alright. A little tight, but it's working. Alright, put another one over here. Are we able to get to the shelves? See, just walk through. It's easy. <laughs> Um, we'll put this here. Luckily, there's no shopping carts in this store, so we can have them be a little wide. One second. All right, uh, grab that and something like that. And then one more. Okay, I think we just take this one and just slide it over just a little. It'll give us the room that we need to make it not feel quite so cramped. It'll feel pretty good. Now that one aisle feels a little tight right there. It would be nice to like snap things together and be able to move like several shelves at once. It would be nice. Like they become one big shelf instead of six little ones.
Okay. Yeah, Giga Shelf. for a couple more shelves. Kind of like a maze now. <laughs> uh, let's get a couple more freezers, I think. Two freezers. And four shelves. And a fridge. All right, we'll, we'll we'll leave it there for now, and then we'll go ahead and put this here. Where's Final Fantasy Seven? We'll be playing more of that tonight for our night stream. We play a comfy game at nighttime after I take my lunch break and stuff. All right, perfect. And we'll put uh, this on the other side. Yeah, and a light in the corner. Good. Good idea. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, grab that. Where is Gas Station Sim? It's that, they finished that game a long time ago. It's been out for a while. Okay, a couple more freezers. Okay, another fridge back here. We'll need several of those, but uh, do that for now. Uh, they're, they've been finished with the uh, gas station simulator for a long time, but they are do making DLCs occasionally. Usually they're pretty small. La the last couple we played were okay. They weren't like enough to like replay the whole thing again, but you know they're nice little tiny additions. Uh, we will do another shelf. Here, but yeah, the, but the base game of Gas Station Simulator has been done for a long time. Let's see, uh, over here, and there you go. That sh that corner right there is a little annoying. Need to put something there. Put that there. And this guy. Nope. Uh, if we rotate this, we could make it work. I'm using every inch of space in this place. Everywhere I can squeeze a little bit of space, it'll work. All right. All right, there we go. Perfect. That This needs to move. Um... God, it feels like there should be a shelf right there. No, that doesn't feel good. Mm. 
Well, I can definitely move this into the corner. I think that will fit easily, yeah. I need some, like, shelf sizes that are, like, in between some of these shelves. Just a little bit too big. All right, well, I guess we could, uh, yeah, we could probably put the freezers there maybe, maybe move a couple over there. Let's move that there for now. Um. I fit this over here. I get one in there and I get a second one in here. Okay, let's move this over. We're hoping that they let us put the um, thing in the storage room, the computer, at some point. That would be nice. Corner shelves would be great. Yeah, if we get a corner shelf, that would be amazing. Because the corners are just awkward in this game. You can't quite put a full shelf in there without it feeling weird. Putting them like this would feel better. Something like that, and then... But okay, let me put that there, and then put this here. Perfect, and then got to put one around, one more shelf. Actually, we put this shelf here and put this on the back side of it. That should be fine. Move it over a little bit. Just about right there. Okay. It's perfect if we just redefine what perfect means. That's all. Just, just define it a little bit differently. All right, put that there, and then put this one over here. Can't get a bigger um, store? Yes. I just need $10,000 to get one more square right now, which we don't have that much. Um, if you got $10,000 I could have, though, that'd be great. I will totally take that. Not all heroes wear capes. Let's see. Yeah, the upgrades get really, really expensive. Like, crazy expensive very fast in this game. You know what? 
let's put this here. Put these guys here. And then put that there. Put this here. Don't move over just a little bit. And then we put this here. Slide this over just a hair. Move that there. And then get this shelf somewhere else. Yeah, we're in Tetris mode now with the store. Just don't have enough space. Space is a very rare commodity right now. I'm going to have to pack this up and put it back here for now. Just don't have space for it. I added a bunch more shelves because we're going to need a bunch more space for how much resources we're going to have to sell soon. Where's the update? Uh, it's not out yet. We don't know when it'll come out. They said he said he's gonna try to get it out today, but we don't know if that will happen. We tried to get it out the weekend, it didn't work. He's working as fast as he can. Alright, and then Space. It there's like almost enough space everywhere for it, but not quite. I think it looks better like this. Horizontal. What engine is this? I have no idea. I guess that's okay. We can move this a little bit out. So not quite so cramped now. All right, that's that's about, about as good as we're gonna get it for now. All right, our store has completely changed again. Now you can restock. You would shop here? I know, it's got like a nice corner store feel to it. <laughs> oh, I need to take my lunch break. I'm hungry. All right, uh, let's go ahead and put that there, that over there. Looking good. All right, uh, is it perfect? No, but does it work? Yes. All right, um, now we can restock all the shelves. All right, let's start with pasta. Get one of each of the boxes and then Move those around and the oil. Um, what else is pasta related? 
think that's it. Let's order the order those and get those moved around. Okay, so we're gonna have a pasta section. We'll probably want it to be me at least three spaces for it. Three shelves. Hmm. We could put it over here. Actually, we have all our baking goods. We can put them over here. We'll need oil for baking goods. So, flour, sugar. Uh, condiments can go somewhere else. We'll put them over here. Condiments will move over here. And hot sauce will go over here. Okay, mayonnaise, my $20 mayonnaise. <laughs> Expensive. Did you throw out those boxes on the fridges? Uh, yeah, it's a kind of a tricky throw, but if you have a wall behind, you can throw them and then they'll stay up there. It's kind of cool looking. Um, so I guess we're putting oil here on this shelf. That means we need to move the cereal. So let me get the cereal box. One, two, three. Get that ordered, and we're gonna move the cereal around. Let's make room for. I guess we'll move the the pasta over here. Be our pasta section. All these pastas will go near each other. So, pasta, 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 pasta. Do you have any tips for better organization in the game? Um, yeah, you don't need as much space in this game as you do in real life. So, feel free to, like, really tighten up some shelves and stuff because people don't need as much space as you would need in a real life store. So feel free to experiment around and play with spacing and stuff. You can have you can have the shelves be a little bit, you know, kind of bare. A lot the like this shelf would be too tight for most stores, like but it works in the game. It's fine for here, but you know, it wouldn't work elsewhere. Okay, we have our pasta there. Uh, we'll move our condiments over. I'll put them over here. That's fine. Shopping carts? I don't know if he'll add those because that would be a lot of work for not much reward or we really enhance too much. But I could see him maybe wanting to try it, but that's a lot of work. Getting those carts to roll and not look funky when people are moving them. It would be it would be really hard to program and stuff. Uh, we're gonna move my cereal. Mm, I guess move cereal over here. On this set of shelves. Let's go ahead and Fill up the whole top shelf with cereal stuff. Yeah, it'd be hard to design for uh, shopping carts. Like, you could do it, but you gotta have a person walk in of all different heights and sizes, grab them, roll them, have them not look weird, not get stuck on stuff. It'd be a big undertaking. It's one of those things that's like, is it worth the effort? And I'm like, I don't know. Is it worth the effort? Probably not. Okay, those are too big. How about this box? Nope. That box? Yep, that works. Okay. We'll move T over here. Pull 
all out and then move this over here. Forgot we're gonna have like a bunch of new products. We'll have to reorganize the shop again soon. Thought I had a different oil shelf. Yeah, I'm moving the oil over here, I said. Need the slightly bigger box for that one, I think. Yeah. Yes, just like in real life, um, store managers are able to stop time if they need to for opening and closing the store. So I, the time will always be 8 a.m. until I'm ready to open. All right, let's see. Uh, down the bottom. Well, hello there, you saucy minx. All right, get this tea out of here. Thank you for that resub, Nietzsche. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and put that over there. Okay, getting our store all organized now. Elbow pasta. We'll put that over here. One lane's enough, I think. Oops, shouldn't have done that way. Need it for organizing. Um, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Well, it's going, to, it's going to be a long process. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take a lunch break. We'll stop it here for now. Um, thank you guys for watching. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. Don't forget to follow the stream if you've been having a good time today. Uh, we'll continue organizing this later and get it all sorted out and make room for new products, too. I'm going to go ahead and go grab some lunch. I'm hungry. And I shall be back in... A little over an hour and a half, and when we come back, we're going to play some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth tonight for a nice, comfy stream. So stay, come back in a little under two hours if you guys want to check that out. We'll be on our Twitch channel and our YouTube channel with some Final Fantasy. And you guys have a lovely evening. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you guys tomorrow if I don't see you uh, tonight for Rebirth. Bye, everybody. See you guys in a little bit.